they know. Please, uh, Felix, <laughs> at that guy, Chuck. Wow. <laughs> I'll even add it in the description. <laughs> wow. All our visitors who come, come. <laughs> <laughs> Over 26. <laughs> this is the Burger Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs> what up, my name is Chuck uh, TV, Mastermind. Your main guy, the Lord Chuck T. The beautiful Mariah <laughs> is around. The amazing Mas is around. The whole gang is around. We are Mike Check, episode 30. <laughs> Finally, the episode you posted two weeks ago. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so someone called mm-hmm. at Mudoni. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's an at underscore Mudoni. Mm-hmm. Bado ni kosoko, but kuna mtu amewekanea deposit. <laughs> Must be the funniest thing I've had today. <laughs> well, <laughs> isn't this the situation? <laughs> well, Nairobi, that is Nairobi in a tweet. So kila deposit ni mse. You've done you've done three and three or four dates. Not quite. I feel like, I feel like Kwekele deposit is mm-hmm. that person who really likes you and like, they are doing close to partner things. Exactly. Girls, but, but then they're not it's outwa- not such outwa- a, yeah. it, uh, asking like you to be their partner. Yours, exactly. and, you know, <laughs> like Nile, let it keep at 50-50 so that I can keep seeing more people yeah. and have the same situation. So. <laughs> uh-huh. uh. Nani hapa amekela deposit anyway? Who, who has that? Many. Mwasa kuna deposit kama mbili tatu. Mimi mimi nilikalia deposit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I was going through my tenancy agreement because because uh, I'm I still want to move at some point. Just me I believe you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you tell us. You and Alex. Alex guys moving company kwa hapa wanabeba vitu. Kiza Alex, Alex this story of you know I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> you and those guys are um, transferring next time. <laughs> Same was up. Wow. So eventually, I've also met peace with it. Eventually, I'll move. But then I was just reading it uh-huh. to know uh, what window I have before yeah. I can send my notice. Uh, then, notice yangu ilikuina soma. Ilikuina read, uh, I need to give a notice one month prior. Mm-hmm. But then, it also, because I had to pay two, a two-month deposit before I moved in, mm-hmm. it, there's a clause that read, I can't sit on my deposit mm-hmm. for, the, for the last two or one month of uh-huh. my stay. Wow. Yeah, so we have some American uh, deposit. But <laughs> yeah, so anyone who's uh American deposit, Mariah, how many? How many deposits in there? See now, imagine all my subscriptions I've cancelled. You know, we are, we are always changing our audience. Mm. Starkey, no. I've cancelled all my subscriptions. Jax is mm-hmm. getting married in January. Yeah, hey, I'm getting married in January. Yeah, that's the, relationship. That's still some episode you say you know my man. See now, then you make a deposit. When you piss me off, your <laughs> but the allowance checked in. Not yet. Oh, someone forgot I something. Is it? Is it? Forgot something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not cool. yet. Not yet. Imagine. Because, oh guys, pray for me. Yeah, it's not a big issue. <laughs> I've been surviving without an allowance. Without an allowance. Good, yeah. Pray so for me. Yeah, maybe pray the, for me. The day you get an allowance is the yeah. day Chuck and Alex move. No, because <laughs> we fought again this weekend. So I'm just like, yeah, pray for me, guys. Yeah, I'm sure you are the problem. It's fine. So anyway, uh, so last week wow. Monday, I was supposed to bring this up on Monday during last week's recording. Because uh-huh. Musa called me like early in the morning, bro, around 7, 8 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, he's just come from October 1st and uh, I think um, he was pressed because he wanted us to discuss this on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And he was ask, asking, mm-hmm. why is water priced the same as beers when you go to clubs or when you, you go to events? Man, it's annoying. 700, that's a good thing. Like, why are you overpricing health? <laughs> like yeah. My water bill is 450 and then at the club I'm buying water for the 700. The same thing, like, it's, it's nonsense. Mm. No, and for me, okay, Sawa, price the water however way you want to price, which I still don't agree with. But I feel like they should make exceptions. Like if you spend a certain amount, should get yeah. or like buy a boti, surely, majimbili, nikito kunyimamtu. Like at, at Seven Islands Festival, when it was the Seven Islands earlier on, on, the, on, on day two when we when we do the island party, mm-hmm. water was complimentary. And seafood. Yeah. Water seafood was complimentary. I like that. Water and seafood. And seafood was complimentary. Yeah, okay. yeah. The Nairobi whole time club, we'll be at the, the, we'll the island. But also, maybe maybe Nairobi clubs are saving water, you know, like drink beer. So it, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> maybe feel like they're saving water, bro. Club owners I think should they're saving water. Um, bottomless water. Mm. Like, tell me, Shika, my five sock, mm. but I want bottomless water. The whole night. If you need water, you can refill. Yeah. So this I'm not going to drink more than two or three bottles. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think I may drink a lot of water. Same here, I drink a lot of water. Yeah. 
I think mm-hmm. when when we open the Misfix uh, club, mm-hmm. the, that that would be a good idea. You see the way water you get beers water. on tap. Yes. Yeah, you get what on tap. It's exactly. like two five four brewery yeah. when they set up at Fusion. Normally mm. you get what on the tap, and I like and even in, it's sparkling. It's sparkling but it's water. Free. And most guys are like, oh, sparkling, <laughs> nah. Yeah. I, yes. saw, I saw a gif of someone who you know, it was a, like a, what do you call it, like a sketch mm-hmm. of people who drink sparkling water and how fake rich they are. It's true you know, though, but sparkling is like nicer just before you get a meal. Nah. You know, no. like it's not water for quenching. Th- that's un- the it's point. Un- it's unflavored soda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like if you take dextroso, I, we can touch that brand because it died. What the fuck is that? dextrose? Dextrose. 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 What is that? The glucose the sweet. Five bob nini thing you put in water it becomes juice. Oh my gosh! The one that, okay, that, that forms you a lot of foam. This? Yeah, <laughs> rises. Are you going to talk? Juice cola was for the brokies. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, juice cola was five bob and extra was like ten bob. Yeah. Oh my god! Alafu, we were so stupid. They were saying that it makes two liters, but all the kids were mixing in one glass. <laughs> oh shit! Like yeah. water halfway because mm. the thing is gonna rise. Yeah. So do we just call Musa because we haven't called in one in a long time? Okay. But we Musa should. brought it and he's good vibes. Mm. So let's call Musa. Let's see. Hopefully he's in. Uh... I'm happy. I mean, but I shouldn't put it. Nini, I shouldn't put it. Ray, on. You can talk me green tea. Mm. Yes, having green tea. I'm thirsty. But let's see if Musa water. is gonna pick because I'm mm. calling with a different number. So um, as we wait for Musa to pick, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, there's another. We covered tweet. we covered <laughs> this story last week, uh-huh. <laughs> and we offered advice. <laughs> the only problem and is Mariah our episode. Correct. <laughs> yes, our episode <laughs> drops on Wednesday. Uh, this happened on Tuesday, right? Uh, it was so there's this dude from South Africa. His name, his Twitter is at, at Zueli Thixo. Mm-hmm. God Gulova. So basically, we covered the story. This is the guy whose laptop was stolen, mm-hmm. and then the guy who sold the laptop reached out by email. Yeah. And okay, Musa didn't pay. Yeah. It's okay. It's chill. So and um, and we actually <laughs> weighed through different options because he had um, he had been convinced online to go buy back the laptop from this guy, and yeah. he reached out. They had I think they set a meeting. Nini. So the guy posted an update. It's a picture of him bruised badly, and then he says. Back and safe, but not okay. It was a trap. <laughs> they gave me a beating and took the 5K rand and my phone. So, if it wasn't the taxi driver that decided to stop when he saw the situation, it would have been worse than this. Never take advice on the internet. Do you know what? Congratulations. You played, played yourself. What did they tell you? <laughs> I don't trust that. You trust story. that Wait, thief. This story is not true. You're, no. you're, you must huh? be mad. I'm losing credibility in this story. The more it goes on. Cause no, because that, that's that a wrap. Bruise, the story is done. Looks fake. The bruise you, looks fake. You think so? Does it so? look real? There's no swelling. But you don't have okay, to his head is depends on how you can beat it. Yeah. But against the yeah. bone over here, it's over here. Yeah, but then. Yeah. If it's like on a fleshy skin, it's fine. But anyway. But on the forehead, there could be some. I still believe it's yet. an ad for cloud. <laughs> 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 he probably may... posted that, posted something. Yeah. You know, but anyway, so let's get into checkpoint. Let's go. All right, so. There was this story, which I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, this was posted by The Standard, right? It's a mm-hmm. video, you can go watch it. <laughs> uh, this was posted on November 6th, which is yesterday. Yeah. Suspected cat- cattle thieves allegedly surrender themselves at McTurno Police Station, Barrier South, with bees on their palms before mm-hmm. a witch doctor exercises them. Mm-hmm. So it's a video of, uh, you know, this guy with bees, bees in his hands, blah, blah, blah. App- apparently, they stole a cow, this guy went to a witch doctor. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the witch doctor had to come help them. So, first thing when I watched the video, this witch doctor apparently has a number, <laughs> a name and a phone number. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, this is advertisement. Every, every time this happens, it's usually, it's usually set up. Yeah. But yeah. you must you allow yourself to carry bees in your hand. That's a command you know, it's so easy to carry arm. a bee in your hand. You just find the queen. The queen, that's and it. And then you just put it inside your arm. That's all you need. All of them there. will swarm around you. Yeah, that's yeah. all you need. That's bees, calling. bees will never attack you unless Who's they hate you. Thank Musa. Hello. Musa, what up? I'm good. How are you? Do you know who's calling you? Yes, taxi. How are you? <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> you're Yo, you're wow. live on the podcast. As I was in class. Oh, you are in class. Yay. But so, it's okay. You you can ask me the question. <laughs> All right. So Mariah and Musa here. They say Hi, hello. Musa. Wagwan. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> So we, for, we, we forgot. What did you say? The mic check podcast. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> the biggest. 
The Some battle, people. the ah. illness. I love Musa. I think about Musa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Musa is the best. Love so, it. we are discussing uh, the phone call from I had with you last week, early in the morning, yeah. about water and beer being the same price in clubs. Yes. And we'd like to hear your experience. Yeah, I was just thinking, when people are saying, drive home safely, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I like where drive. this is coming from. Uh-huh. I was like, what is the incentive Incentive to not drink and drive, right? Yes. Because mm-hmm. you're telling me water is 200 shillings. Mm-hmm. But alcohol, which is made of water, is 250. <laughs> oh, wow. So now, what is, what is the cost-benefit analysis for me to take the water? Do I take the beer that is made of water or do I take the water? <laughs> so um, <laughs> apparently, the idea is to drink beer and save water. Because we don't have enough clean water in the Clearly. world. Clearly. <laughs> okay, that could be one. Well, that could be one <laughs> thing. But again, do you want people driving home drunk? Of course not. How, how about how about how about you leave your car at, at home, home when you're going Uber. Okay. Do you know how Ubers operate nowadays in Nairobi? No, I haven't used. One, a hint. If I want to leave the club, for example, at four a.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First, it will cost me thrice the price. Of the water and the beer. <laughs> oh my god. There's a surge. Musa, get home safe, please. Because there's a surge. <laughs> yes, because there's a surge. But the surge is not that because they are not drivers, it's because the drivers just like let's create a surge. But anyway, I'm just saying that water, which is like a basic essential need, yeah. should never be the same price as, as a beer. That's true. As so, a beer. so we came like, up with, we came like up with some some restaurant. sorry, finish. Even in a restaurant. Mm. Mm. You will have like a nice meal. Mm. Usually, we have like like a like if it's white paired, you'd want a glass of wine to like six hundred and fifty, eight hundred, yeah. or nine hundred, right? Yeah. yeah. But seven hundred seven hundred and fifty ml of water ends up being the same price of that Your one gla- glass, wine glass wine. So That's I'm true. like, now will I suffer indigestion? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm just like. <laughs> What I'm like, guys, it's so redundant. This city, I'm just like, guys. But they realize that, you know, maybe we need to make money from the people who drink water like me. So it's fine no. too. What must happen? So we, we came up, we came up with uh, two solutions. Mm-hmm. Yes. The first solution is um, I think for guys who are coming to spend, like if I'm buying a bottle, I should be able mm-hmm. to get water for free. Even if it's just one bottle of water. Mm-hmm. Or alternatively. That's it. Mm-hmm. Let's say two bottles of water for free. Yeah, for sure. a bottle, right? Yeah. Or yeah. alternatively, I should pay a flat rate, say 500 bob, and get unlimited mm. water for the whole night. Yeah. Mm. Yes. That's that very true. I have a third is, option. Like, listen, I think the third option is the best. The which is the third option? Home. The third option is people who drink sparkling water pay for the people who don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> If guys who drink sparkling you know, water should pay for guys who you know, drink still water. Yeah. Like, let me tell you, you know when you go for that tiga pot on the sereni? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mention uh-huh. uh, this gig. That on the sereni gig. But literally, that on the sereni gig, where you have people who have like bought their booties, they're on the table, and then there's water. Mm. A random stranger over there chewing gum and whatever <laughs> they've taken will just come and take your water. And I think, my friend, this was like 600 things. The hell? <laughs> and, then, and then see the problem is everyone on the table assumes that's a friend of someone on the table. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. We're like, you know this person, they're like, we don't know them. Who are you? <laughs> by, the time, by the time you're done, they've taken three sips, and that's already <laughs> 300. <Done. laughs> Musa said that the guys are chewing gum, do you know what they've taken? But they always want water. <laughs> Where Musa uh, come correct, where <laughs> yeah, yeah. but other have not gone for anyone. Mm. I was just saying what I was saying, you know. Mm. <laughs> the guys who always have chewing chewing gum That's and they always legal. want water. No, but, but those, those mm. are That's guys what? and pills. Oh, okay, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I did say it's did. Mass did, of course. New M Tanchanini Ruby. I was being diplomatic, but come for me, yo. Anyway, Musa, we, we really wanted to have you on the show. We appreciate you. We love you. Mm-hmm. And thank you for the contribution. Yeah. Yes. Can can the next gig, can they just get like a water supplier? Like those ones who are like cheap. <laughs> Clean water. Clean water. <laughs> <laughs> like, water. The whole load. I mean, it would be cheaper if we all chuck and buy the load for 7,000. That's 10 people buying Actually, water for 700. Yes. <laughs> Something. Ah. They, they don't love us in this country. No, <laughs> but honestly, though. Hey, Musa, so make a Ghana, picture. Uber. For... <laughs> Paul, bro. <laughs> Nairobi, <laughs> T for tough. And for Ngori. 
fact, no. in Ghana for Global Citizen, uh. they had like uh what what bank is this? It's called um, what are they called? Oh, anyway, they had a bank that sponsored water bottles. So mm-hmm. they brought water bottles and then they had a refillable jar. So wow. you would take water, go drink during the and then once you come back, they refill for you, right? Nice. For free. And, yes, the water bottle you can carry home. Because we know, hi guys, we brought people here to become drunk. Yeah. But also people don't want drunk driving. And I'm like, it's only in Kenya where I feel like people don't actually value the people who pay for their gigs. Mm. In terms of security, tickets. in terms of water, in terms of, okay, what are even the Even toilets. Like, even toilets, bro. What's they toilets? don't care. Like you pay 2,000, now come suffer. Someone is selling for you undercooked chips and chicken. <laughs> and you pay 2,000 now come suffer. suffer. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> undercooked chips. <laughs> <laughs> undercooked chips. <laughs> You've never bought event food. I like, never oh, buy yeah. event food. So, never. Like genuinely, the experience is not like the the experience is always very shitty. True. Yeah, I'm like, guys, don't don't sell tickets for almost like thirty dollars and for a shitty experience. Yeah. Like, I mean, like when we were growing up, gigs never used to be like this. It's Honestly. just like back to used to blanket and wine used to be like come with your own wine. Us would give you like a good experience, you know. Mm. There's you come with your blanket, come with your food. Come you know. do your thing. Yeah. Let's we are providing your, the vibes. Uh, your your fifteen fifteen dollars fifteen hundred Kenya shillings. There's a nice set. Uh, there's nice music. The sound is good. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm like these people who are charging over there at five hundred. Then people are canceling concerts. Then they don't refund people money. Yeah. <laughs> like those people need to care about the people who come for their gigs. That's true. And that's that's like people have stopped caring about the cost of doing business, and they're like the consumer. And the consumer is okay, guys. I'm out. Listen, Musa, you need you need to come for the next mic check live Legit. recording because we give yes. drinks for free. Yeah, <laughs> we give drinks for free. We give energy drinks for free. Yep. Uh, yeah. Amaka. Like, and then I'm we still sure. give you vibes. There's I'm beautiful. Sure. There's beautiful people to look at. Yep. Mm. There's me, the Lord Himself. Oh God. <laughs> like. There's Mali Safi Apple. I know. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> yeah, we'll, Musa yeah. will catch up with you. I just listen to Pigay Kazi to Malize. Ebu Pigeni, Pigeni, Pigeni. Thank you, Musa. Musa, Jennifer Yoke, Tia, Bubu, Bubu, Musa, Nifa Yoke. I'm telling you, check that tonight. No, yo. Got you. I will love you. Bye. Thank you, bro. Bye. Bye. Musa, when you bamba, and I relate, be a killer kitu to Maji. Yeah. It reminds me of high school when everything was the price of a mandazi. I'm a bread. Uh, so you're like, hey, my potato, how much so billy? Fuck, it's on mandazi 40. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, but anyway, mm-hmm. black magic. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't believe. So that. I wanna hear. I wanna hear if you believe in that shit. Mm-hmm. I wanna hear those funny stories. Yeah. Yeah, beginning with Mariah. No, I believe, because Mariah, I, hey, Mariah sat me down and Tafari could be stories of black magic. But I was like, hey. No, honestly, imagine I do I do believe in black magic. I do. Like, okay. okay, not believe, uh-huh. like I practice it, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I believe, believe it's, in it. uh, yes, it's it's okay. very existed. I believe it does exist. Oh my god. So on TikTok, mm. I was watching this crazy story of this girl. Listen, this as in let's let's try that again. Mm-hmm. Oh my lord, instead, huh? Continue. Anyhow, Moroga. So, yeah. Okay, and it was Moroga. It's already done. Love it. Uh-huh. So this chick was talking about um how she got a call from a friend, yeah. telling her like, "Come to my house. I need to see you urgently." Da da da. So she gets to the house. Um, they have a conversation with this friend. This friend is like, "Oh, I need you to help me collect some debts that I have." Blah blah. Alex. So they're even Alex calling. Debt collector. <laughs> they're even calling these friends, like you know, ile doki pata tafadali, give it to Chaxi, da 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 da. da. Mm-hmm. So she gets home. So she was with this friend like four days before she gets this call. So she's like, "Hey, um, I was just calling to remind you. Um, so we are having a meeting for Sujin and Nani's funeral." She's mm-hmm. like. What do you mean, Nani's funeral? Like, when you don't know, Nani died two weeks ago. She's like, what do you mean? I was with this chick four days ago in her house. Mm-hmm. Now me, I'm confused. Same. And really picked. And the left? Yeah. So she's like, guys, like, is are these things real? Because I feel like I'm, you know, like, I'm starting to, like, question my sanity. So like, how was, was I with... No. Mm. Imagine Chaxi calls you. Like, she's back she's showing us the call log. Like, see, Chaxi, mm. co- as in I was with Chaxi at the house. We call this person and this person for debt. They said they'd send it to me, blah, blah. So now I'm getting a call. Mm-hmm. Actually, so we are starting to have ago. the... Yeah. 
at Chaxi died two weeks ago. You were just with Chaxi four days and ago so, at his house. So all these two weeks. Muli Pika, you ate. No, don't use Chaxi. So all <laughs> 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 Let's do chicks. <laughs> Let's do chicks. <laughs> you don't have any letter yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. Let's God for a bit. Let's use Bob Mali. Because he's dead, yeah. Let's Sama. use Bob So you were with Bob Mali. Yeah. So four you were with days. Bob Mali four days ago. Yeah. Then you're told Bob Mali died two, week, two weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. Like, who is lying? Someone is lying. Someone yeah, there's a, yeah, I know. Especially there's since so, there's money and deaths involved. There's someone involved. just lying, bro. Some, so was she buried? I don't know. Because you're just like, guys, as in I'm questioning. But they, I, I'll yeah. show you that video because I saved it. Someone, no, is, someone lying. is lying. Someone is lying. But that was madness. But on the flip side, I've seen other stories of like, Guys were like, what were me fungwa? Like, you go to get like love potions and whatever for somebody to like you, mm. then you're given like VGTs and you know, zime fungwa. You're told bring a picture of this person, as in, like they wrap yeah. these things. Mm. You become so obsessed with this person, then suddenly one day, zina patikana too, and instantly, like when these things are taken apart. You see, it's, like, it's you, because you see how mad she is, so your feelings die immediately. Yeah, it's not witchcraft. It's, it's not witchcraft. Even me, yeah. if, if I'm really in love with a babe. And then I go to my house one day and I find like something like some concussion and then she's like, oh, don't don't touch that. It's the thing that's keeping us together. Of course, you won't tell us. Yeah. it. So I'll, I'll, I'll throw it away. But you can't say now that you've thrown it away, you don't like her. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. It's because she's crazy. So just before uh -huh. we get into more examples, uh -huh. you don't believe in black magic. I don't believe Completely. in black magic. Com I've told people, you believe, eh? Because there's a baby told me she's a witch. Hey. So, <laughs> 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 and yeah. she told me she has the power in her family, like it's inherited. Mm. So she can choose to use it or not. Deliverance. And she said she's, she only uses it for good. Like she can... Using like, witchcraft, not witchcraft for good. Okay, the power can she pay our debts so as a country? Say, uh -huh. Let's say within... Let's say, okay, this is mm -hmm. not professional or valid. Mm -hmm. Let, or valid. Let's say within black magic, there's mm -hmm. many, many things like yeah. witchcraft. Yeah. Then, because I've also heard of, oh, um, I possess those kind of powers, but mm -hmm. I use them for good. Yeah. Me, then that. there's now like... Uh, Ritualism. People like Nightrunners who... Don't really hurt anyone, but they just make no, sure that's you don't just sleep. a hobby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's they just bought people. I believe in bought like people, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I don't believe in them showing up naked to your house, yeah. but but also you see, they don't fun. harm anyone. Yeah. They just come throw things, uh, throw your things on the roof. Yeah, do whatever they need. Scary, to do. Yeah. So you don't believe? I don't believe. Okay. I don't believe. I I I'm so um. How do I say? I don't believe so much. Like you, to an extent, no, I don't believe it at all. Yeah, yeah. To an extent, I've actually told someone, Nirogen is kick dog. Yeah. <laughs> he told me they are a witch. I'm like, you do something, yeah. make, me pee. <laughs> make me pee. <laughs> but you're already like, people. Oh shit, you're already people. Yeah. No, witchcraft is real, to be honest. But I like the stories. They're usually so funny. Yeah. Mm -mm. Hilarious stories. Hilarious. No, like it's it's real shit. Like even people dying. Because of witchcraft, honestly, it's but real. People it's die, bro. It's a coincidence. People die. Regardless, Yo, not people okay. Die. I have a, I have a story. A, one of my very close friends. Yeah, then so the mom that. got sick. Yeah. They took her to hospital for numerous, and I mean numerous tests. Mm -hmm. Every time these tests came out, mm. there's nothing. There's nothing. Same there's hospital? nothing. Different hospitals. Okay. But there's nothing. <laughs> there was nothing. There was nothing. Yeah. So funny enough, the grandma. They're, okay, so first of all, there was this belief that there was this uncle, yeah. apparently who was into witchcraft. And if he visits you, it's automatic. Just know your death date in a Caribbean. Mm. So a week before she felt sick, this guy came to visit Akiwa Job. They could have come to see you, da da da. And immediately a week after that, she felt sick. So they started taking her to hospitals. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. So eventually, Waka, so she was like, oh, she's going to see the mom. In shags, but she was like badly off. So she died like two days after Lifika Shags. But guys were like, surely this somebody, every test in Kisema, there's nothing. Every single test. Every single test. It's an aneurysm then. Yeah. Like, I, there's, there's just something. Yeah. Because I remember in, in so the, the stories when I was growing up, I was very skeptical about spirituality and, you know, just anything, religion, good or evil. But because I grew up in a Christian family, I couldn't question a lot. So I was just, but I was like, Hmm. Mm. So I started hearing the stories, especially from the kids who used to go to Costo and come back. At yo, yeah. Akat talk the to The genies me. of Mombasa. Yeah. At Indomba talk to Akat in Costo. Yeah. <laughs> then there were the funny ones. Like this guy from Ukambani was saying until there's a time, the village chief, his bicycle was stolen. And so this guy, um, they only left the pump. Hot. Hot. <laughs> 
Yeah. Sorry, Actually, they left the pump. They stole the bike. Mm. Actually, so this guy was went to his house and he started just pumping the the pump <laughs> the whole night. <laughs> and then in the morning, two guys showed up like with bellies <laughs> <laughs> at, at his door at, with the bike. And then at he touched them and laughed. Okay. Like, Kill, let me like, ask you. What is the Kill difference the between <laughs> what is the difference between all the stories I've heard about black magic yeah. and actual Jabba stories? <laughs> Yeah. They're the same. Kill the dramatic. But I believe it's a real thing. Yeah, to honest. Be honest. Then I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys my village set up and growing up. <laughs> Yo, that stuff is uh, real. Black tell mark. them it is real. All right. What's mm. your experience? My experience is. Fuck, that's uh, a cool mic, dude. Right? Isn't that what the closer guy uses on colors? That sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, this one time we went to country, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a thief who robbed chicken yeah mm-hmm. and his arm got stuck to the chicken like he couldn't open his arm at all at all like um say ali rogo is in mkono is ifunguka like if you try to both see hands. What both do you hands mean, mkono is ifunguka as in it's dropped around the kitchen kuku, yeah. that's how they got that's stuck how, yeah it got yeah. stuck like that like even however hard you try to remove the hands you can't and, so, and, and someone had to come do it yeah so do you know do what do you know what happens so someone has to come do it as soon as that person is seeing that they did it now going forward all the villagers pay this person money yeah. it's business it's be that's how it works I don't that's think even, so I promise you yeah because I'm also going to pay you because your shit is lazy let me tell you, yeah, let me tell you. Number. The, why why is the guy the guy bro I literally because I saw this story wait, so wait, I, wait, I start watching wait, the videos wait, I'm Abana. waiting hold up uh-huh. so I'm waiting for the witch doctor to come now and uh, get the bees from his hands soon as the witch doctor the, spot, the camera is on the witch doctor Bro, n- name and, and phone number. Yeah. I mean, this is advertising. No. Because can you imagine how many calls that dude is, is getting now? Of course now? it's advertising because, because your shit is legit. No. Okay. So this it's, is well this choreographed. Is it's a magic here, but trick. Yeah. I give you, my, let's say my weed dude brings weed, mm-hmm. you light it, and it's really good stuff. Mm-hmm. So if my weed dude pulls up tomorrow with a business card, you won't take it? I will. Thank you. But that's because it's good weed. But, but exactly. this is... Even this weed crap, <laughs> exactly. it's some good... Witchcraft. So, no, so it's, take it's, my number, homies. I make like it happen. For example, the Embu story. Yeah. We've already explained. Like, you can already see through the bullshit. Yeah. It's choreographed. Yes. There's trickery behind it. Yes. And to the naked eye, if you're not really keen, you'd fall for it. Mm. You know. Do you remember the story The story in Mombasa, I think in Bamburi, of the snacks, the mm-hmm. guys who had yeah. termed snacks? Mm-hmm. So play all those tricks. Then later, later, people, people found them together. They're like, higher. Kumbe, you, they were they were working together, but yep. it's it's same snacks. Yeah. So most of these stories, in my opinion, mm-hmm. and I'd, I'd tell you why a lot of people believe these stories because most most people in this country, okay, not most people. Let me say a lot of the people um are, come from Christian families, and the Christianity teaches you that there's light and darkness. Mm. There's the God, there's God, there's the devil. So that's the foundation of the belief. Ni more yeah. of like, oh, so if God has powers, then there has to be other dark forces that have powers. Now. Mm. I do not completely disagree mm-hmm. that, could, that, that there could be other powers beyond what, yep. be beyond the realm that we all mostly exist in or that operate in a different frequency. I don't disagree with that. But then, when it comes to every single story I've heard of black magic, it's always choreographed and mm-hmm. the aim is always to just make money. Yep. All these things for bring a, a green tiger, or bring Suji whatnot. Bro, it's so growing up, it's just to make it uh-huh. uh, a story. story, yeah? Yeah. yeah. There's a time uh, we went for national competitions in Mombasa, mm-hmm. for St. John competitions, yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, we were at Chuda, mm-hmm. a certain high school, I've forgotten the name. And uh, we were charging phones outside. I left my friend there. Mm-hmm. And then he was, he was guarding the phones, yeah? We went to grab lunch, came back, and then said he was robbed. Mm-hmm. He just said, he saw a dude come, grabbed all the phones, he couldn't talk, he couldn't do anything, and then just walked away with, with everything. And you believe that's witchcraft? Bro, how's you that normal? You were swindled, he stole bro, the phone. Bro, you were swindled. <laughs> bro, what see, do you mean? Bro, dude, you were swindled, bro. You know what, I'm going to come and do the same at Snowball. Just walk <laughs> out with the eye market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's mm-hmm. like, um, what is the name yeah, of this plant? Imagine, I want imagine to remember this plant. What's the name of this plant? I believe you. What is the name of this plant from, um, it's, I think it's very famous in Mexico, uh-huh. that they used to rob people. What is the name of this plant? Or oh, the Devil's Whisper something. Is it called Devil's Whisper? What is it? Uh, I'm not certain. Let me Google it. Okay, I know the drug, the drug that comes from that plant is called Devil's Whisper. Uh-huh. Don't they blow on you and then you become disoriented. Yes. And you follow instructions and stuff. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, is she? Yeah, so they yeah. So, yeah. In, you've had people like they say they were robbed, but the video shows you went to the ATM, you got the tunes, you gave these guys, you, yeah, you salimiat them and you left. Yeah, that's because you're disoriented, and it happens in my threes. It happens everywhere. Yeah. That's why I'm like, dog, these people. Never say hi to anyone in town. <laughs> so this, uh, it's Mexican plant with a hypo glymic. Bro. In a changanya Hypo, mutu. yeah. <laughs> in fact, used in the treatment yeah. of... Hypo <laughs> somewhere, Gina. Hypo... I feel like... Hypo... 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 Aside from that, you guys don't believe at all whatsoever. Like, black magic exists. I believe! Ah. Check it. Me, Devil's me, me, breath. Me, nah, me. me, I have stories. I'm gonna tell you my story. Me, I could tell you a story, but see, your story... Is this is the one that happened No, 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 no. This one is... I can't... Say it, but yeah, I'll believe it. Trust and believe me, it's the, they're, very. They're, they're really nice, like stories, and they're very fun. No, and you they're can, very I, real. Ten over ten for creativity, you know. Ten over ten for execution. Mm -mm. It's real. It's real. Me, shit. first of all, I've never seen a rich Muganga. So this thing is called for sure. <laughs> no man, and and the con people. How to how to become wealthy? See you start, and then <laughs> yeah. listen. Go go Google Devil's uh, Breath. Mm. Oh, Devil's Breath. Yeah, Google it. Bro, this plant will like this plant. I mean, as much as and also it's it's dangerous because mm. sometimes depending on how much dos dosage you, can, you inhale can or take, you you could have bro as bad as amnesia and things. So, bro, these people use a lot. There's a lot of magic and trickery that is used. There's a lot of acting, and then there's a lot of such drug that are used, bro. Yep. So that guy or that nigga just colluded with someone and conned you guys. There's that's that's another option. That's it. And because he knew these niggas are from Nairobi, in Coast. And they'll, they'll, believe, of course, they'll believe it. So, like, growing up, mm -hmm. uh, um, in my extended family, right, mm -hmm. there, was, there was that aunt who... Sorry, uh, sorry. There's, there's that aunt who we were just warned that this <laughs> aunt is a witch. <laughs> don't eat in the house. Don't even go to the house. If mm -hmm. you meet the kids, um, like, on the road, you can say hi, but don't take anything they give you. All those things. Mm -hmm. So we had one of those aunts. Uh -huh. Then... Like a lot of uh, my aunts, whatnot, also some of them, but not, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know, what, le, let me not say a lot. Mm -hmm. Some of them believed in, you Witchcraft, know. Witchcraft, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Acrobatics. Yeah. Wow. But, but now looking back, uh -huh. I'm like, a lot of it was bullshit. Yeah. So someone is genuinely sick. Maybe a recurring illness. You have a problem with your food. Mm -hmm. Instead of getting um, like proper medical help, you go to that small clinic in in my village mm -hmm. that r rarely had anything. So maybe after they're giving you painkillers, they're not even well stocked. Yeah. So because now the problem keeps occurring, and then they start stories like, oh, you know, it's Nani from that homestead yeah. who doesn't want me to farm, who wants me to go hang. It's family it's, beef. It's just yeah, and I'm like, mm -hmm. this person just needed better care. So now they're like, you know what? Now we have to go get a witch because. Hospitals is not working. I'm like, which hospitals, bro? <laughs> you went to that small dispensary that even runs out of Panadols. Mm. Anyway, so one day I ended up, I was young, but I remember this very profoundly. Mm -hmm. Ended up in this, in, in this Canite thing where a witch was supposed to come to the family to bless the household. Mm -hmm. Because ah, uh, there's deaths, there's what natural things, bro. Deaths yeah. occur. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't take care of your kids. Something happens, deaths occur. We can investigate mm -hmm. an actual cause of death. But then, because you're in the village, you don't, I couldn't post mortem or anything, mm -hmm. you never really tell. So all of it goes to witchcraft. You plant, use the wrong pesticides, you don't harvest, <laughs> oh, so-and-so family <laughs> want us to starve. It's witchcraft. So before you realize, there's yeah. a lot of all witchcraft and mm -hmm. belief, and there's people making money from it. Yep. So this is what happens. Uh, this guy comes to the homestead in the evening. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, slaughter chicken for this guy. Eating <laughs> nice, bro. This guy gets free this, food. This guy, free food. <laughs> He's getting paid. Uh, then he can only do his thing at night. Mm -hmm. of course. So at night, everyone is called into the living room. So there's no power or anything. So the darkness in that village is pitch black. Because mm -hmm. there's, there's no like electricity or anything. So yeah. there are no street lights. All it's you have fire is... Fire and lamps you know, and stuff. And lamps and whatever okay. you have as that provides light to you guys. So everyone is in the living room. You have to go quiet. It's pitch, pitch, pitch darkness, bro. You, you can't even see the person next to you. Mm -hmm. And then now this guy begins his things. Mm -hmm. So this motherfucker is someone who can mimic or can change their, their voice tones. So he'll start saying, oh, gee, nani, nani, done this, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then he'll summon, now he'll summon the gods or whoever he'll summon. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a voice from the other side of the well, room. He's just good with accents. <laughs> 
same same nigga, bro. Just moves to the other room, and then completely changes his voice. He even speaks as a woman, and now it's the gods have been summoned. <laughs> so after that, mm-hmm. everyone is frightened and careful, and then he'll always leave these things. He'll hide somewhere in the house, mm-hmm. and you're told that one you can't touch it. That's what's supposed to protect you. Bro, I saw this first hand growing up. Uh-huh. All this while, I'm young, but I'm like, this is so much bullshit. Why are you calling BS? Am I just saying of course, but Sasa, who Mentally, am I telling? Yeah, okay. Who am I? Like, everyone believes in this shit. But if you could shit. see through it, and then there's fucking adults over there who are buying this Bro, shit. Bro, they've been brainwashed and all their paying. lives. All their lives, and they're the paying. They've been told, anti so and so, don't go to that family. Yeah. Even the kids don't do what this. Then they bring this motherfucker who's coming to con them, and who can change voices and do all these things. Mm-hmm. Do you know how that sounds in that room? They're like, what the fuck? The gods came and spoke to us and told us, oh. Bro, so anyway, Yo. so that happens. Um, then they'd always have these things called, in Swahili, they're called chanja. Uchanja. You know, like they'd, they'd, uh, see, like they they'd use in, a razor like blade they... yeah, to make like three couple of marks. Yeah. And then they'd always uh, apply, apply something. And then that's supposed to be protection. Bro, you look, you look back now, yeah. you look at all those people. I'm like, how did you always... Okay, hospitals didn't work. Mm-hmm. Um, farmland, whatever. Also, you, it's agriculture. Yeah. You're supposed it's, it's, to keep protecting whatever you're planting yeah. for some period. You know what I mean? So you don't do all that. It doesn't work. It's witchcraft. I'm like, okay, so now these witch doctors you've always been bringing, how come the situation never improved? Mm-hmm. You know, your kids still don't perform well because they go to shit schools. Mm-hmm. Which, But it, that's all that is in the village. You know what, what I mean? Yeah. Your health is not improving because that fucking dispensary that's supposed to help you is not even equipped. So what do you do? You keep going to this witch doctor because he summons the gods and the gods can speak to you. So you believe what you see, what you hear. Oh. <laughs> well, I get where you're coming from, but ten I would still say execution. Is real. <laughs> like I said, it's just it's this is like white men and colonization. Yeah. Ten on ten over ten on how they it's yeah. even in the Bible. You see, yes. again, I, I started by saying the foundation Saul, of this is no right because man, left, Saul summoned the you're spirit to of Samuel. Don't even believe in, in the Bible. Bible. Like, the Bible is a good work of for fiction. those that believe. <laughs> yeah. I know it's true because it literally comes okay. from the Bible. Saul summoned the spirit of Samuel after he had died. Because he, King Saul went to a medium after he was told, do not go to the medium to summon so, so, Samuel's spirit. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Now that you're talking Pause. About... Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who lived 900 years. King Nebuchadnezzar yeah, did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Summoned. Hey. <laughs> so, so, if a sound guy breaks his leg. <laughs> <laughs> he Sorry, summoned and consulted mediums. Yeah. What happened when God <laughs> disowned him? God said, everything that you did will reverse to you. What happened to Nebuchadnezzar? He ended up... Becoming Kukulanyasi. I mean, you can't use the Bible. It's no, hey, hey, hey. Where? Where? I have a question. Where, where? I have a question. Have a, no, it Mariah, is a point a of question. reference. Yeah. Point is, okay, my question uh-huh. is, right? The people who listen to this podcast, not, not all of them are Christians. Or yeah. Christians yeah. So now, I just feel like quoting the Bible is very limiting to only yeah. the demographic that believes no, in no, the Bible. No, no, no. I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. I but believe you know, witchcraft is real because of what something. I believe in. So you yeah, agree. that's my justification. So you agree, if not for Christianity... You, your basis for belief is just Christianity. Not only Christianity, yeah. even Africanism. If you just check, they had mediums, which is Nini doing his own rituals and whatever. Rituals, there. rituals is they are good not and bad. black magic. Rituals yeah. is anything. Praying is a ritual. There's good yeah. and bad. That's what I'm saying. There's good and bad. As long as there's all that, there will always be even, even witches. Not all witches are bad. Mm. There's good and bad. So I'm saying, I believe So good in, witches, what do good witches do? Okay, you have a mic. What do good witches do? See how I I I use it for good. Just told me I use it for good. Like I can see someone who's sick and I can, and then they'll feel better. You know, like many have something to say. Okay, me I'll go with Mariah. Like I'll support her. Okay, it's rough. It's it's Mm. real. Yeah, like at the the Sisu coach I had to, when I will my my uncle. So there are like like two uncles. It happened maybe. 2020, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Use the mic close to you. Like, so by the time we come reach an agreement, you mm-hmm. my, my, uh, Your uh, grandfather. grandfather. Ayuko. So I grow. So ona 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 fa kugawana but two more attack you msi mwingine apate juu yeye already ni tajiri like already akona do na check so by the time wali wali fika kwa agreement akamwambia ina five hivi kwanza ilikuwa face face na five hivi tu gawane shamba wewe akabonda juu ni mkubwa mwenye akona do akampiga kofi hata si kumpiga kofi lead design ka kumpusha ama ku yes it too but since you know ushago na mwingine anaka town 
Kwenye after hapo after hiyo scene so you umo ya list kuma kidogo sinwa ocha mm-hmm. yale mwambie tu ni sad tutaona una check hivyo tu mm-hmm. incident yes incident imefanyika like kama mande mm-hmm. friday huyu uh, anko mwingine ame dead mm-hmm. what for real like i'm how, pass how did it pass but na kila mtu anajua huyu mwingine yo like how did it like, die like, oh my guess. god if you are, if you guys, look at there's nothing if you like look at everyone who's dead if you look at everyone who's dead and see how many people they had beef with <laughs> Prior, even a day before they die. Even during the day. Even during the day when they die. There is nothing like coincidence. Alafu, mm. it's not a coincidence. Exactly. He did what he did. Like Ali Ali ingia tuko ka room. Kuna hiyo tu akona akona kijiji. Like an altar. Eh, like an altar. Hapo ni yeye ingia gasolo. Hakuna mso ingia gapo. What's inside the room? It's an altar. <laughs> no one has ever seen. <laughs> exactly, because it's an altar. Come on. Like at that you are going to do dad no only wa uanko. Wana kila msana na jua. But hakuna hata msana mu approach jua na. It's a family thing that It's a family thing. It's a belief that it's like my auntie who oh, don't go Jesus don't go to her yeah. when i grew up let me tell you when i grew up those guys were being told not to speak to so you don't hang out with their kids don't do it. me i came to realize they are not the villains they were always chill they people they were chilled dog. out and it's because the story went all around us yeah. like ah, it's... i guess it is what it is <laughs> and you then he grew up me like kumbe auntie nani is so cool mm-hmm. listen man <laughs> me i don't want to hear all the witchcraft black magic stories in the comments oh, and me want to hear yes. the ones that have happened to you Same like I'd like personal experience. I know I've told because, you my personal experience. I have. And I and I called bullshit. <laughs> well. I called bullshit. <laughs> well. I was like yo this and this and this but anyway I'd like to well. hear it again so no, I can call my bullshit. No. No. <laughs> That is a phase of my life exist. I don't want to repeat. Yeah. That's a rap. You'll hear it. If you are a witch in the comments. Yeah, please let us know. Adas views. Everyone who give us for. Me if you show me by the if you show me because I've had people do weird shit in my I told you this yeah. a baby came to my house and she cleansed it. <laughs> she said there's bad With energy what? and she well. burned sage. Ah, but like, that's I'm, fine. That's But you know I, I'm all for burning sage for like nice vibes. Yeah, yeah, but not But now she was going to the corner she was saying especially on the kitchen up at the <laughs> like over here let's leave this sage here for 10 minutes. Like, Ignorance <laughs> will finish you too. But anyway, we move. Listen man, we move. So on uh, So we oh. can get punished for not believing in it. No. <laughs> So I will ignore and finish us. And like I I send you back read the bible. Okay. <laughs> I hope I will back and forth the whole day. I know yeah. <laughs> so we move we move to to uh, Twitter check. Mm-hmm. Are you all ready? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. Twitter check right? So we have we have two tweets today. <laughs> And I'll add a third one. I'm just saying. You have another one. Yeah. So I will add it. <laughs> so the first one, uh-huh. um, I mean, we've been talking about the drought in yeah. the country. Yeah. I, yeah. And I shared my own experience of, mm-hmm. especially Marsabit. And even the whole of Central. Yeah. Even yeah. Nairobi itself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, well, has been dry. You know what I mean? Kayote is receiving less rainfall than previous years. Than yeah. previous years, right? But then it started raining a few years ago. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's days. raining everywhere. A few, sorry. A few <laughs> days ago. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so... This guy on uh, October 30th, Honorable, this is his Twitter, mm-hmm. Honorable Idris Bule Mohamed. His bio says, he's a diplomat, politician, uh, husband, proud dad, Wajir no- North 2032, inshallah, and most importantly, Asani Muslim by birth. Mm-hmm. Posts a video of so much water, mm-hmm. just, you know, just, just flowing, bro. Like literally, you can it tell it's like a road. seasonal river, Sindo. Looks like a, either a seasonal river or yeah. just a, 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 or or yeah or yeah. a river that just busted it, its bank. Mm-hmm. So there's so much river. So Then much says, river. <laughs> so much water. <laughs> Mara is about to say it's 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 the witches. I send the kind regards. For the whole day, I probably sent 30 emails today. I swear. So Kizungu English out the window. Uh-huh. Yeah. But anyway, so there's a video of the water flowing uh-huh. or the river. He says, "Bute Wajir North Sub County." Uh, alhamdulillah it's just the water flowing right mm-hmm. then at kvati whose handle is jack kiprop <laughs> responded and said alhamdulillah and you don't have the water you just alhamdulillah and let it flow <laughs> <laughs> no but it's true though it's so true so <laughs> it's just al- alhamdulillah no honestly it's, it flow. it's annoying true and as much as it's hilarious mm-hmm. It's an issue that <laughs> yeah is every to laugh year at. then after three months you start complaining tell her oh hakuna maji Bro, if it government train, or si yeah. if it doesn't train for the, one the most is just a week and then they're back to the same situation and the question is what so the guys who are gunshotting over here the leaders of those areas oh wait yeah, yeah the leaders it's 
having like rainwater collection thing is or surely kwani ni ngumu aje yeah whatever me i don't know how plumbing works but like yeah. don't see the water what, go yeah <laughs> like water it, water bro, yeah. or like invest in boreholes and stuff bro, in uh-huh. in my water up to date in my village as soon as it rains whether it's been raining or, or it, yeah. any single container even a cup bro they put funnels literally yeah. from what is the name of the thing So all the roofs are constructed with the like, thing that collects water. Water, water, water then in yeah. yeah. Then there's always funnels. Mm-hmm. Bro, they'll put out any single jerry can, jug, yeah. uh, sufuria, whatever. whatever. They'll harvest water. They'll harvest water. And as soon as, if it rains the following day, whatever it has been used and is empty, they'll still have it. And they have almost, every 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 home almost has a bowl. Because wow. most of them are farmers. Yeah. yeah. But the culture of harvesting water is, like it's just, it's just, it's the just water a is is. What's the thing? Rainwater is fresh water. No, and it's like, clean yeah, water. Pure water. water. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lesson here, bro. Like yeah. for real, because I remember, I don't, I don't remember seeing many homesteads that had even tanks. Mm-hmm. So, and you clearly know you have a water problem. You could yeah. go, bro, you could have rain twice or once a year. Mm. So I, I get that. Anyway, so for the leaders, Woko, and even the people, yep. because you have a chance to harvest some bit of water. You know what yeah. I mean? But for the people, I like, wouldn't put it on them because maybe they're, they're, they're limited resources. Wise, true. Maybe, yeah. but mm-hmm. okay. But you never know because I've never been to Jerusalem. Maybe they harvest in their mm-hmm. homes, but also okay. how much water can you harvest if you receive water once or twice? Exactly. Yeah. But for the leaders, do better. Uh, second one. <laughs> uh, this I think this is a screenshot from Facebook. It doesn't have the name of the person who posted, mm-hmm. but the, someone said, "Kindly, someone tell me how's Upper Hill High School, Nairobi." I'm assuming a parent was maybe a kid who is interested I'm in going there. Upper Hill. Then Eunice Amolo responded and said, <laughs> my husband is an alumni of this school. From the way he behaves, I don't think it's a good school. <laughs> <laughs> Bien. And the gang. Come on, I'm from Upper Hill. Oh! <laughs> so, how is Upper Hill? Upper Hill is fun. No, what yeah. pa- no <laughs> but the Upper Hill is a bad school. You get to burn your dorm literally uh-uh. every term. My, inter- <laughs> even, my even, entire stay at Upper Hill at Jai to my dorm. Me and my girls at Upper Hill, the school was burning. Was burning every <laughs> term. They were always home <laughs> to my dorm. Maybe once a year. Us, I remember uh, when I was in Form 2, they burnt the dorms. Like, they burnt the dorm. Mm. Ikajengwa. They burnt the dorm again. Yeah. Ikajengwa. They burnt the dorm again. <laughs> So now when they burnt it the fourth time, they were told, listen, you think you're going to go home, you won't go home. They started sleeping in class. Yeah. On the, the time, I think around 20, maybe 10, 11, when they burnt and someone actually died. Uh, was it the cup head, head, head boy? I think yeah, so. I think that was the last time they chomped the school. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Apa. So Apa here. Hey. Yeah. But the response, but the way my husband feels. <laughs> <is, laughs> like for sure. School. Yeah. You, you, want, you, want, you have anything to say about the school? They love our pale school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me He's ask you a question. Who's What ever percentage of like the guys you went to high school with are fuck boys? Everyone, All including, of them, including him. Including him. Captain. Me so me stand with Eunice. He said Eunice some. Yeah. Eunice has said me I know my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not good people. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, listen. Just before, just before I tell you why I'm I'm relocating to Namibia, mm-hmm. Mas, you had one more. If you cannot already relocate from where you stay. <laughs> <laughs> Namibia, same. Oh, moving houses. No, for real though, I'm actually moving so, to Namibia and I'm trying to see how we'll make this yeah. podcast work. So someone says she's called, let's see, she's called Washera, Wa underscore Washera. Mm-hmm. Um, she was mocking um, Elon Musk and how things have turned around. Mm. Then, okay, then the tweet underneath, some guy called Kiko and Jani said... So you, you don't read the actual tweet? Oh, the tweet was just like... Uh, Elon Musk saying Twitter needs to become far most the most accurate. Just the things he's been tweeting. Let's just read it. Yeah. So we Twitter needs to there. become by far the most accurate source of information about the world. That's our mission. Mm. And then um, this babe now said, Woo, it's about to take a turn. And then Kiko and Jani replied with insert Costarian accents. Amezama pacha. Moja na itwa fakaraundi mwingine find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sama. And this is going to be my next big thing. Say inta kona sema mzama pacha. Let's fuck around and find out. Add, yeah, I add things yeah. over there. I love it. I'm going to come and chip sauce. Fuck because around and find, find out. Me. No, I, I do. But I need to get and find find the out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh-huh. this is unverified. It's but it was posted I read mm-hmm. Part of it, right? Mm-hmm. Posted by it at by a b- vernacular, mm-hmm. uh, Google Doctor Bana. So uh, the Namibian tribe where free sex is given to visitors. A thread. Mm-hmm. Of oh, course. Beautiful pictures here. Yeah. 
See, this is why Chucks is exactly. so <laughs> of course. <laughs> but how long will I be a visitor unless I keep going back? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm still not your visa. You'll be showing your visa. I'm yeah. not a citizen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the Himba are a tribe living mm-hmm. in northwest of Namibia, mm-hmm. where they've been they've been for 900 years. Mm-hmm. The women engage in milking their cows, taking care of the children, and the men go hunting, living. Oh, their wealth is determined days. by the number of cattle one has. Typical traditional African society. Mm-hmm. The amazing thing about the Himba tribe is they do not bath. They cover themselves with uh, oat jeez, a mixture of butter fat and uh, oat something, to protect themselves from the sun, which gives, gives them their red color. They're actually red, if you see the yeah. pig. Even though they don't bath, they always smell nice. Kind courtesy, they are women. Yeah. Their virtue is give honor to whom it's due. So when a visitor comes knocking, man approves by giving him the okuje pisa omu kazendu treatment. Mm-hmm. This means his wife is given to his guest while the husband sleeps in another room. Mm. <laughs> if, if there isn't, growth, <laughs> if there isn't <laughs> any, the man sleeps outside. Really? So I have two more. This tradition has its benefits in the community. It reduces jealousy and fosters <laughs> relationships. <laughs> Shout out the to woman. the Himba people. <laughs> <laughs> the woman has little or no opinion in the decision making. Submission to the husband is fast. Ah, okay, now, okay, this now is it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Ah, it was going on. So May I thought was the babes were like willingly. Yeah. yeah. Ah, ah. No, but there was another one that I saw. Um, yeah. The Banyankole tribe of Uganda. Uganda, yes. Yeah, like your aunt, the aunt's sleep with, the, with your husband yeah, first, first. He says like his potency. <laughs> Do I get to choose the aunt? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you choose? <laughs> so now you have to look at all her aunts and choose the hot one. <laughs> yeah, you choose. Yeah, you choose which you choose aunt. Which aunt. Yeah. And your yeah. uncle is also there. Well. I mean, if it's tradition, you know, it's yeah. like the, the typical story of the Masa is mm. when... Uh, Apparently, when you come back home and there's a, uh, what a is it called? A spear outside, outside your house. <laughs> you yeah, go just, to the next house as well yeah. and put your spear. <laughs> so, yeah. So. And then she comes to teach you. <laughs> and she saw your husband. He likes it from the back. He likes yeah. it when you do this. Yeah. Literally, like, yeah. They do that to come and Ooh. educate you. Can you imagine? Okay, sorry. No. Going to be we don't want never to get imagine. Anyway. Let's <laughs> okay. start there. I'll stop. So, the aunt, the aunt is the last baby you'll pull up before you. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Technically, the only one you'll cool on. Let's so go to Upper Hill. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then, then you'll cheat. <laughs> Unless you're talking. But I've seen, I've seen a video of, of that happening. Of, there's this food vlogger who travels around the world. Mm-hmm. He was even in Kenya at some point and he reviews like food, street food and everything. So he went to that tribe, the Himba tribe, somewhere mm-hmm. in Namibia. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, that's someone I've missed. Um, and, and, the thing about them not showering and then using like aromatic fragrance. They used to burn these things. I love how they squat on them. Yeah. Um, like there's like a fire with some herbs and then they light it up, some aromatic things. So that's to make, I think, the vagina smell nice. And then they just squat on the smoke. The women now squat on the smoke. I love one by one like that. Then they're, they're offering um, sex to this guy. Okay. Bro, I'm literally picturing ako, ako kwa karibu Namibia. Me, you <laughs> lost me at they don't shower. Me after half, I was just looking at you. Oh, yeah. Because even if you use the butter or whatever, yeah, you so, they, shower, because it's musty. Oh God, hell no. I know it smells crazy in there. <laughs> we'll, let, yes, we'll let you know in Bruh. January. Plus, we'll, let you, we'll give you guys an update in January. First of all, let's move, save our queens. How much is it? I need yeah, to know how, how much is it. To, uh-uh, Hama Kwanza, please. But now, s- since clearly it's just for visitors, uh-uh. I can't relocate. I just no, have I'm to go Hama Nyumba yeah. Kwanza. promises of years, going to Namibia, <laughs> getting married, moving houses. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, she has an option of refusing to mm-hmm. sleep with him, mm-hmm. but must sleep in the same room as the guest. Lastly, okay. she's also entitled to give her friends to her husband when they visit, but this rarely happens. To know more on the tribe, watch this by Wademaya. I know Wademaya, man, on YouTube, mm. and there's a link. So it's an actual thing. Okay, that I'll check out. Do you think Wademaya got some as he was filming? Because he was a visitor. Wademaya is who now? He's a YouTuber from uh, Ghana or Nigeria. One of the biggest. Actually, one of the biggest. I think he's Ghanaian. Ghanaian, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. We need to watch and see whether he was given some. But anyway, Mwas, um, I'll let you know what the trip will cost. <laughs> it's okay, I'll sit this one out. <laughs> I'm, I'll go no, to, you can come record me. You I'll go come to vlog. Namibia for the experience. <laughs> the desert, uh, whatnot. The desert, I'll even take you to the Himba. <laughs> but I'll keep my distance. <laughs> no, I'll do like this. But genuinely... Do you we, want some? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but genuinely, uh-huh. when we're speaking about maybe trying to travel in other countries next yeah. year, we're like, 
why why can't you just randomly go to like Namibia? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Namibia is actually on my bucket list. Actually, Same the here. south, but for me, it's driving down in a four by four. Nice. You'll find me there, bro. <laughs> at least you can drive me around. <laughs> You'll find me at the Himbas. Where do they live? I'll, I want to be the capital. Shall be to drop Namibia. me a pin. <laughs> I'll drop you a pin. Yeah. Ah, but I, I thought this was very interesting. Maybe if there's like someone who, you know, nowadays I don't feel. I'll just call it out if someone is from Namibia. If there's a chance. Actually, let us know. Yeah, bro. let us know if it's true. Yeah. Or not. Nowadays we find people. If we found someone in Kakuma. <laughs> then yeah, we. No, there's people everywhere. Yeah, there's bro. people even. So, yeah. So if you're Himba. Or if you've ever gotten it from the Himba. <laughs> also, Let again, <laughs> I'm not famous. I read all my DMs. Mm-hmm. Please, if you're Himba, <laughs> reach out. <laughs> at that guy, Chucks. They know. Please, uh, Felix, at that guy, Chucks. Wow. <laughs> I'll even add it in the description. <laughs> wow. All our visitors who come, come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the episode title? <laughs> all our visitors who come, come. <laughs> oh, my God. We, uh, we'll lose... Ama? Ah, we'll bro. It. We'll spell it as it is. Yeah. Uh, why? Yo, this is a, this is this is the only show we have hundred percent freedom to do whatever we okay, want. It's true. It. And it's fun. Let's like, come on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so all our visitors who come, come. <laughs> Ooh, so come one, it. come all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we move on from the uh, number? <laughs> uh, so we can move on as I write mm-hmm. this. Uh, the next is Hash Papi. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Hash Papi. Uh, we've spoken about Hash Papi before, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's, if you don't know, kindly Google because I don't think we want to give a backstory. Yeah. All I want to ask, is the, the jail sentence, is it the only punishment he's getting? No, he's doing nine years, then the last one will be deported to Nigeria to do the last week. Oui, 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 oui. Ah, that's how he'll come, that's how he'll get out. Uh, I mean, so yeah, he's been 11 years, Mariah was explaining. Miguna Miguna quoted the tweet and said if, if, if he was in Kenya, he would have been elected governor. That's Senate. true. Okay. Facts! That is true, true. Do you think he's touched some of the money? Ah, definitely. Yeah. For sure. No, he, no way. Cause think the, about it. the net is still continuing because he was just yeah. the dawn. So while yeah. you're they're still doing yeah. the work. Yeah. And uh, and and there's probability he had, you know, fiz- cash somewhere. Oh, okay. Of course. Makes sense. Of course. Yeah. But also, you never uh-huh. know, bro. Money was a lot of money was coming in so quick. You know that you can tell from how he was leaving. He was leaving. Yeah. Uh so we don't know. We don't but know. he didn't he didn't look like a damn dude. You know, like there's so many scammers. No, but more yeah. there's a he could be a smart dude, uh-huh. but not with the money. Yeah. Okay. Because by the time you're scamming people that amount of money, you're really a smart person. Exactly. Right? But are you investing? Yeah, are you how buying you spending actual that money? Things, okay, or do you sense. just have billions in the bank? And that could, you know, Ferraris who may pack for basement. Yeah, yeah. So on top of the jail term, he's also getting his accounts are being frozen and stuff. They of were course, they were frozen. Um, all the f- assets. All the assets, all the assets he had was just expensive watches and cars. Mm-hmm. Literally. Typical uh, Yahoo boy. Okay. Yahoo boy. Okay. Yes. Ulewa. Typical. You, you know. You know that. You know that. You know their captions. Yeah. Bro. Like, why like, do they have the same captions? All of them. If like, God is on my side. The grind don't stop. The grind. Don't stop. <laughs> 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 and there's always a lot of loyalty. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like, like if you can't do what you can't try it with me. You can. And, and, then, and then the money emojis. Yeah, the money emojis. Oh, sweet like, Jesus. And, and some lyrics like "just small circle, big checks." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's stupidity. Yeah. You can read like so you just say like today's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's more of like uh, yeah. like. If uh, you you can't sit with us, you can't. You know, we and are not. And it makes sense. Your basement and my balcony are not the same size. I'm like, <laughs> see, see, yeah, I have a small balcony. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, crazy. Uh, some, uh, now that we're on that topic, yeah. you, did you see the thing that happened today? Um, clubs in South Africa were, 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 were getting Insta stories out of guys who haven't paid their bills. What? Yeah. And it was the forex guys and the scammers guys. Wait, how how would how would they know the guys have not paid? So the bills? apparently in South Africa, some clubs you drink on credit. Nice. Yeah. Or, or for example, if you're big enough, they won't come and bother you with the bill because they know they'll. It yeah. It's like us yeah. and some clubs. Yeah. You forget, you know, it's fine. Like yeah. they won't even bother. They'll, they'll, they'll just take, call you from yeah, like, yeah, this is your yeah. bill. Yeah. So apparently, there's some guys who've been flexing with you know bottles, credit. champagne, whatever, whatever. So. Uh, the influencer who got paid last week. Was it last week or last week part one? Mm-hmm. He put the brands on blast. Like, you guys haven't paid me in three months. And then they all paid the same day. Mm-hmm. So a club in SA in Cape Town did the same. He said, if you have a pending bill and we've sent you an email and you've lingered, we're going to publicize your names in two hours. Then I think these guys didn't take it seriously. So they started posting them. Yeah, and then these guys started it, paying yeah. up. <laughs> oh, really? Because yeah, they've been contacted on phone and email. They don't respond or pick up. Damn. So and, and it's possible they mm. probably do that across multiple clubs. Yeah. So if you can't come into yeah, another club, we'll go flex yeah. in the next one. Another club said the same. We also have a list. 
And then they said, some of you are paying, but some of you, oh, two hours. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. I didn't see that. I'll show you. It just happened in the afternoon. I think that's why I didn't send it in the group. Oh, that's fire. Bro. Oh, shit. That's fire. That was crazy. I want to know um, I want to know what you guys think about Afrima. Because personally, I don't give two shits about Afrima. Like, yeah. And we could talk about it, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to browse quickly. Afrima 2022 nominees list. See who from Kenya is nominated. Uh, best male artist in Central Africa, Atukoko. Best female artist in Central Africa, dude. Best male artist in Eastern Africa. Mm-hmm. From Kenya, from Kenya we have Bien mm-hmm. and Aaron Dumbui. Uh, then we have Nyashinsky Femi One for properly. Uh, Bien Aaron Dumbui is Baldman Anthem. Then uh, best female artist in East Africa is Tana Shadona for the song Maradona. <laughs> there is Mu- Mudaka. Shout out to Mudaka, she's hot, bro. For the song, sorry. Uh-huh. Mudaka means beautiful in Kikuyu. Oh, really? Yeah. She really is. She yeah. lives with the name. Then there's uh, Nikita Kering, last name. Uh, best male artist in Northern Africa. No one cares. Of course. Best male at one Northern, one. Southern Africa. <laughs> Fuck it. Northern Africa, we are not Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Morocco, guys. <laughs> we are pre-Europe. <laughs> yeah. Then <there's> <laughs> oh, my God. African uh, fans favorite, no one from Kenya. Mm-hmm. Album of the Year. No one from Kenya. Artist of the year. No one from Kenya. My goodness. Hata OG, I could make this. OG was threatened. We forgot him. Uh, best African collaboration. <laughs> Fuck, bro. No one from Kenya. Best African act in diaspora female. Oh, there's one. Betty mm-hmm. and Bonle bon from South Africa. Unani Cheza. Betty was the, the f- cute... Female rapper. Mm. Betty from Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, 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 shout out to Betty. I was She's with Betty when, two, days, two, 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 two days ago. Mm-hmm. Betty is pretty as well. Uh, best act diaspora we have. Best African act in diaspora, male. Da-da-da, none from Kenya. Hmm. Best African band, duo or group. Mm-hmm. None from Kenya. Okay. Kumea, hey, wana, mm-hmm. wana vocali. Wana vocali. Nominated for What a Time. Then Happy Umoja Sounds and It Always also nominated. Shout out to Akina. Umoja Sounds is a uh, Provoke and uh, Mandugu Digital. Okay. Nice. Shout out to the OG. Best African DJ. Ah, of course, guess. Maforisa. No, is there anyone from Kenya? No. Of so. course. Guess, right? <laughs> Best African rapper, lyricist. Ah, apa sasa. Best African ra- rapper, lyricist. Do you think OG is in this? Of course not. OG is there. <laughs> yeah. OG is there. OG has won this before. He's not. Yeah. He's not on this yeah. year's nomination list. Yeah. Okay. Sakodi? Best, is Sakodi there? Sakodi is from Ghana. Mm. No. Okay. Oh, wow. So, there's Eris, South Africa. There's uh, Da Fancy, whatever, someone from Sudan. Mm. DDB from Sudan Cote d'Ivoire. This list and OG couldn't. I'm sad. Mm. <laughs> no, no, we'll get into that. Best, art, <laughs> best artist, duo or group in mm. African dance or choreography. Do you think there's anyone from Kenya? Yes. Who? Cool. I don't know. There's none. <laughs> Best artist, <laughs> duo or group in African electro? No one from Kenya, my goodness. Do you ah, yeah. think like electro? Yeah. Last, but yeah. it's very niche. Okay. Yeah. Best artist, duo or group in African hip hop? Hmm. African hip hop. Duo. Uh, Nasty C. Or duo. Duo, yeah. No one from Kenya. Best artist, duo or group in African pop? Phew. No one from Kenya. Best artist, duo or group in African reggae? R- Raga dance or oh, there's one now. Why really? Femi one, Kinkaka, and Bithi by Happy. Hmm? They made a reggae song. I'm sure. I, like I know Happy, but is it okay? Anyway, I'll listen to it again. Best artist duo group or African R&B and soul. Bridget Blue, goodbye nice. from Kenya. Shout out. Anyway, shout out to all the winners. But legit, legit for me, I don't give two shits about Afrima. I feel like Afrima. So the thing is, I, I don't like Afrima. Is those awards that just nominate anyone? Like, over the years, I've legit seen people be nominated. I'm like... Yeah, mm, bro, like, I don't think so. Just for yeah. the hype. Just for the hype. Then okay. there was the whole story. Tetrani did a trade oh, yeah, last the year. The way they mistreated, treated, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. It's more... And then, you've nominated guys from all over Africa, right? Mm-hmm. Then, all the performances are Nigerian. Yeah, that was... It's, it's hosted in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Hosted in Nigeria, it's just an Afrobeat affair, bro. Yeah. Okay. But you have nominees from studio everywhere. North, uh, East, Italy West, is South. Shit. Exactly. Yeah. Someone want to say something? Just grab the mic. So, for me, like, the way Afrima is conducted, like, for example, I look at the BATs and the other awards. Yeah. You'd be like, okay, there's the usual people who are, who are like, how did this make, how did this person win? Yeah. Yeah. But then, I'm just like, most of the time, 
people will actually deserve to be there. You'll be True. like, this is actually really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and even if you voted for people, you'll vote based on your own preferences. Yes. But you'll be like, these other nominees are actually deserving. good and well deserving. Mm-hmm. Afrima is all over the place. Excuse, Jackson. Right? I think Afrima is a kombili. Yes. There is one, mm. and it's being conducted in the US, and the other one in Nigeria. So this is the Nigerian one, which is double F. Also, mm-hmm. there's one that is double M. Afima, there's Afima, there's Afima. Yeah, exactly. Afima. yeah so, yeah, <laughs> double M. So why? Them, it's African Music Awards. Mama, what does it mean? It's like, there's mic check, and then someone else. Mike mic check. check. I'm a two mic check. I'm a mic check. C-H-E-C-K. Exactly, but yeah. initially, uh-huh. it was one thing, and then they split. split. Mm. So it was one more Moja kenda na US ingine kabaki Africa. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to maintain the name Afrima. Mm-hmm. So it could be the ongeze letters to okay. maintain the name. Okay. But yeah. they should just give it up because it's trash. Yeah. I'm not well versed in the awards category. Yeah. I'll just take your but I'm like, it, shout yeah. out to the guys because there's guys who have seen messages to vote for them. And I'll do it because mm-hmm. it clearly yeah. means something to you, you know. Yeah. And I understand what that sort of validation could do to an artist. Very you know? true. It's just Especially like when, younger when, artists. Yeah. It's just yeah. like when you meet people and they watch the podcast mm-hmm. and it feels nice. True. You know? yeah. It keeps you... It, it makes sure you come here on a Monday, you know. You should introduce podcast awards, by the way. You know, we have to do it. Yeah. What if we introduce podcast awards and won every single award? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. We do that on episode 52. Listen, can we do an award show? We nominate everyone, everyone based on the different categories, right? Yeah. But we win every single award. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give it out on episode 52 and then you vote. If you vote for any other podcast, you leave. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're and then we'll call it from Free and Fair. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come display all, all our awards all on awards. the table. <laughs> all, all the 52 awards. <laughs> really now? Including Bro, individual awards. Let me tell you, including most <laughs> but, popular. Yeah. And you can clearly see the views on YouTube. Yeah. Best, best <laughs> podcaster <laughs> female, Mariah. <laughs> best <laughs> podcaster male, it's a tie. <laughs> best crew sound. <laughs> best venue, snowball. <laughs> ah, that would be crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to that one. That would be dope. Uh, I'm looking forward, bro. Mm. Yeah, but talking about nominations and awards, right? Mm. Uh, at Cinda Matiko, uh, who has a verified page and has a Kenyan Tanzanian flag on Cinda, looks like a dude from the picture, right? Mm-hmm. Crystal Asige, who congratulations because he's nominated as a senator or... Yeah, she's, she's uh, representing a CEC for people with disabilities. Yes, but wow. she's nominated. She's yeah. in, the, in, in the house now, right? The yeah. Government. Yeah. So Crystal Asige, mm-hmm. former Soul Generation signee, sues Saudi Soul for contract breach. Mm-hmm. She claims... She was kicked out of the label. She wants them compelled to compensate her. She also claims Soul Generation, uh, Soul Gen deal with KLM. Remember they had yeah. all the other songs, yeah. right? Was without her consent, where her song Lenga was used and the label received five million shillings. Mm-hmm. I ask, um, so when she's leaving, when she's, when, around the same time, you're like, We've not, we've not seen any single from her. Yeah. Um, like she's no longer being seen, you know. On, yeah. She was just off, mm-hmm. off the grid. Yeah. Around the same time, I was filming loud. J- right before COVID. I remember mm-hmm. asking Ben Sol, like, yo. Like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, well, what's up with Crystal? We're not seeing any music yeah. from her. It's just in the collabs that all of you have done as a label. Yeah. Uh, and it's just been a while since we had anything. Yeah. yeah. All gen. You could tell she was not yeah. part of the group. Was it a messy exit? Clearly. I mean, it's proving to be now. Because she said she was kicked out. Yeah. You no, know, but you can be okay. Like even the what was the name of that the the three dudes? Cascazini. No, Cascazini. There you but go. But Cascazini, their contract was terminated because one of the other dudes was accused of rape, no? Oh wow. Yeah. I think so. Me I thought it was a Nini performance. Okay, issue. Me I thought like the music was just because I was watching TV. Soul Fest. Bro, but, wait, so the, co- who co- cause Anyway, Israel and Yawaya are now what is called Wat- Watendawili. And oh, shit. About it. we love the music. I love Watendawili so much. Yeah. It's the so Kazini broke one person off now. The okay, makes yeah. sense. So I mean, uh-huh. it's never been it's never been public information mm-hmm. uh, because I think the label soldier needed to deal with it. Yeah. They dealt with it. But word on the streets. And I remember being at Snowball for a recording session for with just one of the artists, but not from Kaskazini. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the dude from Kaskazini, who now apparently was involved in the scandal, mm-hmm. was in a song that actually came out featuring two other musicians. Mm-hmm. And I remember getting a... I remember the producer, So Fresh, getting a call from someone I can't mention, but someone I really love from the industry. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yo, there's no way 
you guys just put out this song and you clearly know this guy. Yeah. He's accused of rape and that's why Kaskazin is not part of the team anymore. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what happened yeah. as per what is in the industry. Okay. okay. Right? Because, yeah, I, I, when I was watching what was the Nini called Soul Family, the, mm-hmm. the see, reality TV show. Yeah. yeah. But there's, at some point, Ben was, I, I think I'll say it was just under performance. Like, I think they traveled and they came back and Kina Ben Soul had written tens of music. I remember that. Kina and Viri, yeah. And then Kaskazini, the things, like they, they didn't take it seriously. Bruh, I can, so, I, can, I, okay. I can tell you for a fact. Okay. So, like, you are, you are, bro, this is like literally one of the most talented musicians we have in this country. Mm-hmm. So, right? Bro, grab the mic. Let me tell you, yeah, and this is the guy, the, like one of the guys from Kaskaz, who was in Kaskazin, who's now part of Watenda Willi, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This dude, bro, how many studios am I in Nairobi? Bro, I've never, it's, I've, ne- I've hardly been in a studio in Nairobi mm-hmm. where there's not a Yoya song yeah, or guy, full project. He's an amazing songwriter, bro, okay. one of the best. He's right, yeah. he's written most of the New South Soul songs you're going to hear. Wow. Nice. So, a guy who's writing every day, singing every day, and raps. Have you heard him rap? No. no. Yo, you've just heard the singing. <laughs> you hear the rap in okay. his project. Uh-huh. So it's very hard for me to believe. I don't know the truth, but it's so hard for me to believe. Yeah, they Someone that I've seen music. his work rate okay. that you. didn't have just music. I hear you. Someone who writes bunches of songs every day, sings. Bro, this guy is in a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. As a writer. Both as a writer, and singer, as a singer. Nini, but as a writer, mm-hmm. heavily involved. Okay. So, I mean, as a label, you handle it the way you need to handle it. It's True. a new label. Mm-hmm. These things are not going to probably outwardly Except, yeah. but of then course, you deal but... with it behind doors. Yeah. I could get. But for Crystal, okay. it was weird. It feels, I strongly believe, yeah, for, for sure they terminated her, her contract. Why, I don't know. Could yeah. performance, could be not. But then, if you made money from her, yeah, just give her somehow what is, what she deserves a bit of it. Yeah, you know. makes sense. Yes. Let's see how that pans out. Yeah. Yeah, when you get more information, we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, shit. Matata. Finally, ah, uh, dropped Super the debut Mario. album, Super Mario. Your album ni Matata. Your album ni Matata. Shout out to this guy. Hey. If you haven't heard it, you should. Please go listen. There's two, two songs featuring Saudi Soul. Mm-hmm. Beautiful songs. There's Wakadinali featured. Mm-hmm. There's Wakelo Max. There's the a intro, bunch of features. The, the intro with their moms and Fee. That was so sweet. Really got me, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah Fee, yeah, Fee is in the intro. Wakelo mm-hmm. Max. Bro. Can you talk about how good their visuals are consistently? Yeah. From their, what was this? The first video they dropped? Ma, 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 mare, mare. mare Mare. Yeah. Right. I saw from the one. And I was like, wow. Bro, consistently. I think it's, it's one of those videos. groups that are very creatively aligned and they have And mad, intentional mad about what yeah. they're putting mm-hmm. out. And it's everything. The outfits, the styling, the sets. The dance. The choreography. choreography. The choreography. It's the creativity madness. between how the scenes interlock. Thank yes. You. Ah. Shout out to... Bro, I'm... Exactly. Um, so go watch. There's an interview I did with Matata. It's mm-hmm. on the upside YouTube. Go find it. But Matata mm-hmm. is literally all of them were dancers in Kenya. Yep. Yeah. Somehow met in Norway. Not mm-hmm. because they they went together or any yeah. different opportunities. Oh. Yeah. Because Me, it's like, like Freddie, they, they went together. No, no Freddie okay. was in FBI. Like uh-huh. all of them were in different dance groups. Okay. In Kenya, so the most of them knew each other from around the scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then they found themselves in Norway. Then it's more of. We meet in Norway. Then I'm like, oh, hey, but then Mara is in that That's city in Norway. Go. Then I'm like, oh, Nani also. Then this is now when Facebook is big. Then you start finding each other in Norway. Yeah. So dancers who never ever made music in Kenya yeah. met that in Norway really. and formed a group, made a music group, and made boom, bangers. and made bangers, bro. Do you know how sick that story is? That's no crazy. Word, no. Me actually, I actually thought it was like they left as a group. Mm-hmm. No, bro. Okay. They were not a group. Like. If, if you if you look at um, what is the dance competition that Waira used to be a judge on, then so many. Sakata. Sakata. A lot of you'll see like they're in different groups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then the, <laughs> their story is epic, bro. That's then crazy. I read their story. Go watch it. But one thing. When you have a cardinal on a track, <laughs> just sing and let them rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is rapped. Yeah, there's oh, losses. Uh-huh. I'm like, <laughs> no, don't. Actually, I'm for real. It's done. Fred is coming to say what? Am I? You just, you just wrap your beat in the beginning. <laughs> and leave the rest. Because do the hook. But also, when you have, when you have, uh, when, <laughs> but also, genuinely, right? Yeah. When you have someone as talented as, um, oh, fuck. Why are you forgetting the name? The guy who does the hooks. 
Domani. Yeah. When you have Domani, also just let him do the verse. So I'm saying, maybe they should have done the ad libs in the song featuring Rakadina. Should have been the DJ Khalid in the song. Matata did. Through the song. I'm not just saying ni Matata, Matata. Come on. Do the hook with Domani beats, but just let, let Domani ska and see what rap. Let Freddy, it go. Freddy, to go Let it go. Man, I love these kids. I love, and they're such uh, just dope people. But you true. speak to them like you can tell. I was listening to it on the way here actually. Mm. Every song is vibe. There's, is there's a vibe? A, there's a reggae song. There's a I'm reggae like, song. Yeah. There's reggae. It's giving. Um, yeah. like there's there's rap, a touch of everything. There's R&B, bro, there's a gospel song. It's giving. Oh, wow. Okay, Max is there yeah. singing in his luo. <laughs> uh, it's a vibe. Like I can't for sure, it. it's a vibe. Mm. Every track is different. You like you'll experience different things yeah, okay. as you like listen that. to the music. I'll go yeah. listen to the Ocadinali song again. <laughs> <laughs> for real, <laughs> for real. Hey, because you're gonna scam me, Sam. For real, because I'm not doing for real. You know. <laughs> Remember when Lil Wayne was at his peak, and then there was that kind of light spark, the, the light at the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's finished. It's over, bro. It's <laughs> that was crazy. It's over. Okay. You know. I was listening to Katafor again earlier, yeah. earlier this week. Uh, hey, the week is still early. Last week. <laughs> 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 like on Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Why do I think like it's a Friday? Yeah. I was yeah. listening to Lil Wayne because um, Katafo came out when I was in Form 4 mm-hmm. and we had sneaked in this to think. Oh my God. Oh my God I remember. Watching, yeah. No, you had MP3s this. and stuff. Yeah. 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 But the song was so fire. You can't even listen to Chiniamaji. Blah, blah, win. Oh my gosh. And then it had and Drake. Had. And then Gini and Sia just nah, like that, this. I don't that, was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was a good time. That was a good time. I need one clarity. Mm-hmm. What, is, what is the current clarification? <laughs> I said clarity. No, I need to read your English today on your Outlook. Show me four emails. <laughs> I just finished my English. <laughs> <with> <laughs> the emails. Please find attachment. <laughs> Well, the good thing with emails is autocorrect. Yeah. So hard. It's very hard to mess it up. You know? true. And grammarly. Do you use grammarly? No, for emails. Grammarly is just. Oh, no, but you use it on emails. It's because I, I used to reply emails on my browser. And Grammarly is installed. Yeah. So you Sometimes can always... Sometimes it tells you, hey, this email is oh, harsh. I'm like, I want it to be harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Consider using words like kindly and please. I'm no. like, <laughs> I'm asking for my money. Yeah. I need one clarification. Mm-hmm. What is the current obsession with... And this is something we could discuss and then we do the other stories. Because okay, mm-hmm. okay, I know we're running out of time, yeah. right? One, I have a big problem with the way Kenyan musicians write their music. The writing is shit most of the time. Oh, sweet Jesus. Songwriting is not very embraced. Mm -hmm. And we're in a generation where every artist, they want to be produced a bit. I mix, I did whatever, you know what I mean? Everything in between. And songwriting is not like an actual profession in Kenya. People don't, Mm. it doesn't make money. So maybe people don't embrace it. But a lot of the lyrics from Kenyan music, for sure, are shit. What is the obsession with male musicians why, why, uh, Nini, imagining giving boxers and what is the thing about giving boxers to their women or partners? What do you mean? Oh, Nikupati a boxer. BN talks about <laughs> Jika Misi and whatnot. No, but there's, ah, no, there's something. Oversized uh-huh. t-shirt, the song in Matata. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, girl, you look so good. No, oversized t-shirt. Then the but that, has good, that has good songwriting. It's a, but the first mm-hmm. verse from, uh, I think, I don't know who. There was one a boxer that boys. was yeah. yeah, Nako like, Kumpati a boxer. I listened to a new track that mm-hmm. I really like. Let me shut them up. It's a ah uh, pia anapatia uwe dem boxer. I'm like dem boxer. It's called uh, <laughs> song is called Sasa Hivi by VB. It's uh-huh. a beautiful song. Check it out. Uh-huh. So me on because you guys have you, are. Have you ever given a baby a boxers? To so, in the, the when in the house, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. You can keep it as a rudisha. Yeah. But the thing is, is this the only thing? Don't the even talk about hygiene right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> All of me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to like, no. like, like, if you're gonna give me the boxers, <laughs> yeah. those are mine. Like Women. Why are you giving me to First return? First of all, me, my nice one. Movie. I want it back. I want to know. <laughs> to leave her once. <laughs> I don't agree. And also, mm-hmm. most of the times you don't give them, they check. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, but I'm, not, I'm not that uncouth. So it's it's a cute it's thing. You guys do like ah, uh, you come uli, wear my uli, boxers. Ulikuja kama umedunga thong na dress. Yeah. Sasa kwa nyumba utatembea na na katakundu. That's what I'm coming to in Swahili. Yeah. So I got to come just give me something comfortable. No, like yeah. this this is a thing people do like you yeah. when the babe comes yeah. you just give them boxers. Like it's a, it's to give them shorts or something comfy. They always want boxers for some reason. Okay, so Because people have boxes to Okay, guess. so to find everybody, mm-hmm. this is the last song. <laughs> Male people, this is the last song you can. No, the songs that are out are the last songs you can about boxers. Give your women boxers. No, but it's a, I feel like it's a thing because even female songs, if you check, like the ones are always talking about love. Mm. Where's it because una need drive crazy boy? I must do that. But drive crazy is that. the emotion. No, yeah. like there's so many words you could use for that. Do you that. give your brat to your man? <laughs> <laughs> Can we end it? I'm like, yet? but no. dude, am I dating <laughs> young is, is the way today? Young Emi is pregnant. That's a lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my mom was excited. Bro, so hey, the shade room. Hey. Too, you know, sometimes I don't even read shade room. I just see screenshots of the. I'm like, nah, they've, like they've just been but I'm not trolling her. So the way I've been giving nice solutions today, like the sparkling water one, Kulipia mm-hmm. too. May think mm. the next five female artists won't get about Kupia and Angoda. Yeah. Then we balance it oh, out. Then we balance it out. I'm a bra something. Yeah. You want, uh, how many babes do you give your boxers? Okay, let's go. And look on your girl, I say, boxers in Miraru, that's what I do. I'm going to get gunshots. Man, I fix your boxers or buy boxers. Or shoot my tackle on the shimobi. And then, <laughs> uh, and then when you're gifted boxers, you're in your feelings. I know. Ay, <laughs> nah, bra. Don't, it's not don't the wear. same. Me if, you're gifting, <laughs> if you're gifting me boxers, they have to be Calvin's. Okay. Invest. 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 Uh, shout out to Crazy Kenam. Yeah. yeah. I've always said he's one of the guys who really cracks me up. Yeah. And we spoke about, we've spoken about him many times. Many right? times. But he then he was um, he was representing Kenya with other content creators at the Met or something in content, the UK. Yeah. He posted a nice picture with uh, Kabilem. I mean, it's Lame. Lame. Yeah. It's Lame. And then the caption was, this is a silent photo. I, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it, right? I loved so it. So shout out to Kenam. <laughs> uh, next story. Mm-hmm. Take it, take it, right? Mm-hmm. So paying for parking in malls and hospitals apparently has been removed. I've mm. been to Village Market two or three days ago, and bro, you're just driving. Are you for real? Yes. Yeah, so this is a bill that was uh, passed by Edwin Sifuna, who's the current senator for Nairobi. Shout out to Edwin Sifuna. Shout out to this. And it reminded me of a period when... It's a period. That's the time. My goodness. The period and time on. is okay. Dude, yeah. it's all right. No, but, but a period suggests that it happened over time, and it just happened once. Okay. Hey, <laughs> okay. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So this day, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm in the crib in my previous apartment, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think late, late in the night. Then someone is knocking, mm-hmm. like on the door and calling my name. Just one of the neighbors. Mm-hmm. I think they figured I was, I was, I was around. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Yo, I need your help. I need to. We need to rush uh, someone to the hospital. I don't remember whether it's the brother or the boyfriend, but he collapsed in the house. Wow. Yeah. So I'm like, "Oh shit." I think I got a ferry because we used to live in the same apartment. R- rushed to the car. Um, and we were like, okay, so we're aware. Because the other problem we have is, mm-hmm. like now, if there's an emergency here, do you know how to call the ambulance? That's question that's one. A, that's another thing. But even reaching the ambulance, do you know there's how another actually, situation. You know, triple nine works nowadays? Mm. It does? Triple nine works. And but that's now the, like, the police. They the have police, to connect to an ambulance. Because it's our only emergency number. Exactly. So yeah. I'm but just saying, we don't sent, have an emergency John number on, yeah. for ambulance. Mm-hmm. That works across different yeah. areas that you can call. Anyway, so we get in. She's like, uh, where are Gakan? So, Parkland. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, me, I get my Max Verstappen on. Boom. Mm-hmm. Twende. Twende. Were you in the Ractus? I was in the Ractus now. This is... This is <laughs> oh, Kadudu. This is back in the days, yeah. Back in the days, yeah. <laughs> back in the days. Max Verstappen on. Max Verstappen on. Yeah. 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 Boom. Uh-huh. Agakan Parkland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is an emergency. Someone collapsed. Mm-hmm. I don't remember why exactly. Uh, before you get in, there's, there's, a, there's a, before we get to the hospital, mm-hmm. there's already like traffic getting in. Yeah. Because the, the tradition is the car in front has to go, Take stop, lower your window, press the thing, mm-hmm. get your ticket, wait for the barrier to lift, then you drive in. And then, then it closes again. the second car. So there's yeah. always traffic getting in. We have someone who needs urgent care here. Mm-hmm. And we're driving to the emergency area. Mm-hmm. 
So you start thinking, because now there's two other guys in the car, should they just carry this guy? Because mm. we're ready yeah. so that they can start the to attend the guy. Still unconscious. Yeah. Still unconscious. Uh-huh. So when I see this, I'm like, yo, hospitals and malls, they shouldn't be that thing. Mm. Because also, how many hospitals are in malls? True. But also, it's, it's not just hospitals. Yeah. Malls have essential services mm. that are offered in the malls. Yeah. So by the time you have to go through the, the traffic thing, pay for parking, where am I coming to spend in this mall? A lot of money, even if it's not a lot of money. Mm. But why shouldn't I get parking? Yeah. yeah. I to mean, begin I'm, with, I'm otherwise, already coming to spend and money. And also, if you don't actually, if you don't have parking in the mall, I'm probably not coming to that mall. Facts. Because where am I going to leave the car? Yeah. Exactly. So you want me to come to the mall and you've spend given money. many vendors, so I can come buy from different people, you spend money, to spend, yeah. and I still I have pay, to pay for parking. my parking. You're mad. Like what in the name of greed and capitalism is this? No, for a mall, I feel like for a mall, okay, a hospital. No, surely. For sure. In, term, in terms of even priority, mall, hospital is up there. But yeah. even mall, Mariah, it's the same thing with the clubs. If you're spending 10K on a bottle, yeah. why you can't I just get, get free water? water true. Yeah. It does not make sense. So shout out to... Yeah. And yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah. Like to know, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know if other malls, I'll check. Yeah. I'll, I'll go, go to the one I go well. next to my place. because There's, there's a mall in Raka. Yeah. Which one? Lower Roslyn. The dead one. You have two malls. But that mall... you have two rivers. That's like... Ah. It's five ah. minutes from ah. my place. Yes. 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 It's where I buy everything. It's in Raka. <laughs> it's in Raka. You, you're mad because outside your house. <laughs> we have Southfield Mall. Hey. Ah, that's not oh, but you and Mombasa Road. Mombasa Road, you have we a have like a variety of malls. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'll, I'll go see. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. WikiLeaks published. So we don't know if this story again is, mm-hmm. we can't verify. But at Nev, at Nev Isaboke on November 3rd posted, WikiLeaks do, dumped this MOU signed in 2007 mm-hmm. between Raila and the Muslim community. Raila can do anything to be president, including turning Kenya to an Islamic state. Yeah. I won't lie to you, it's too long. I can't, I, I, I didn't waste my time reading it, but you said you But so me, okay, I was put on the WikiLeaks um, link mm. by some tweet that was confirming that UFOs exist. Mm. And this WikiLeaks dump was like across... Like the whole world, anything they've ever gotten their hands on that was classified and they think the public needs to know was mm-hmm. put on that like a drive. So I got some of the files because I was interested in Kanzo Zima Panama Papers, Nanini. Yeah. Did you and read then, the one yeah, um Hillary Clinton and Yeah, the emails. Yeah. yeah. So I skimmed. Okay, they're very long things. They're like mm-hmm. zingini, like a hundred pages. Yeah. Okay. But you just skimmed the nice Kanza the UFOs one. Apparently UFOs exist. I oh, think but witchcraft is where you drew the line. Ah, Interesting. Come on. We'll get you have to fight after the show, yeah. But this one I saw on Twitter, the one between the Islamic community and Raila Odinga in 207. Mm. There were some claims about how the, the Muslim community feels underrepresented. Because mm. we still we still hold fort that Kenya needs to be, um, what did you call it in the earlier? Uh, secular. A secular, a secular state. state, yeah. Because you can't it say is in the constitution no, that we are secular. No, it's a Christian state. It's a Christian state. Though. You see, because the thing is, bro, like the same thing. Mm. We have people who don't believe in religion. We have Muslims. We have, uh, you know, in, in Hindu. We have we have all religions. Yeah. So now, if it's a secular state, it means there's actual freedom of worship. Because yeah. no, you can't say there's yeah. freedom of worship and then you still call yourself an Islamic state or a Christian state. If you go, True. if you go to court right now and you have to do an oath, mm. you're either given the Quran or the Bible. the Bible. You can't even say, "I just swear to myself." I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I swear to Chucks. <laughs> yeah, the Lord. Yeah, I'm because you have to, you, yeah. you have to be accountable to a higher being. That's the reason. You have to be accountable yeah. to your moral compass. But it's, anyway. it's, your, it's most of you. Because, yeah. like, when I told you about my incident when I went to court for the first time, mm. they, they they were giving me the Bible. I was like, I, I, I don't believe in this thing. Mm. So should I still use it? I was like, no, you can just raise your hand. Yeah, they respect that. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's slowly changing. We'll get there. So there was there. They wanted to make Kenya. They'd agreed that Kenya will be an Islamic, Islamic state, state, and then they'd agreed of having a Sharia courts um, in the different majimbos. Mm. Um, the majimbo the system. Country. Yeah, the majimbo system was supposed to be in place. I think yeah. Yeah. when he was running into a seven, he yeah. really. Yeah, I remember. About it. Yeah, I remember then, that. I remember that. Yeah. But the thankfully, thing. we got devolution instead. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there's no need of going backwards. Um, yeah. There's just a lot of very weird claims mm. on that thing. So you get all even this... the sale of alcohol mm. in. Um, Places where it's sixty percent Muslims um, residing, so they were saying even the coast, there's no selling. Sasa <laughs> takutu nda diani kudu. We just carry our own drink. No, you, it would be illegal to consume or sell or partake in it. That's in crazy. Those, yeah. So all <clears throat> this just so that they can rally their people to vote yeah. for you. Yeah. And do you remember? And bro, we spoke about this earlier when you were speaking about the Catholic Church, and mm. we're like. When you start to realize how much power these organizations called yeah. religious organizations have, cause yeah, all they needed insane. is the leaders to just go to all the yeah, mosques and, yes. and be like, guys, this um, is what we're getting. Yeah, yeah that's what actually in the MOU. Mm-hmm. No, because there's 
what you're going to do for us yeah. and what we'll do for you. Mm. They were going to heavily campaign for Rao. Mm. Um, within their communities, within every place where they're gathered, mm. they're going to be, this is our guy and this is what he's going to give us. Mm. So I don't know what would have happened if Rao would have been... Yeah, you know elected. what? Okay, he was actually elected. I don't know what would have, happened, what have yes, happened. Yes, that's the time he was, was rigged out. In, that's the yeah. time mm. because mm. of the election. Yeah, Kibaki. Yeah. But um, me, to me, Rao and the Muslim community, and I'm sure he probably had another secret agreement with the Christian community. <laughs> of course. Of other, he's a politician, right? Yeah. Of course. To them, we're just like, I... Congratulations. <laughs> please, <laughs> we are lucky yeah. people. Anyway, next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. Okay, we'll finish with this, right? There is uh, two more, then we finish. Uh, Elon Musk and Twitter. Mm-hmm. Is there anything to say, really? I've seen um, he's hiring some of the guys who are fired. He's rehiring them. Mm. Yeah. So this dude, one fired like a bunch of people, including yeah. the top execs, but I saw even including the board mm. and appointed himself. He's but the I saw only he board said, member. But he said for the board, it's mm-hmm. just temporarily, but yeah. we don't know. Then mm-hmm. he wants people to pay $8 now for the blue, for the blue <laughs> for verification. Blue. But but me, I'm like, bro, it's not that deep. Imagine, mm. keep it. No, so now he's saying... It was $20 there's... for the badge and then $8 for Twitter Blue. What's the difference? What's... Twitter Blue is like YouTube, whatever. Like... Pro Max. The one that's ah, actually... The one where you... And then you'll still see ads, but you'll see fewer ads. In Twitter? Yeah. Ah, they were proposing it. It was, it was in proposition. Ah, yeah, so you like YouTube Premium? Yeah. So because so the thing I saw with the $8 now mm-hmm. is he's saying it's not just for the check, the mm-hmm. blue thing, but also you get like longer format videos. Yes. There's going to be podcasts. Nice. There's going to be lesser ads. He said lesser there's ads, still going to be ads, but, but lesser ads. So it's a whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm so like... It's like a paid paid mm-hmm. service. But also, remember, Twitter has never made profit ever since Twitter was founded. So probably this guy, uh, because he needed to flex on everyone, decided to buy. Twitter valued at $12 billion. He paid for it at $44 billion. Because yeah. yeah. it's Elon Musk. Times the price, so now yeah. he probably needs to make some money, get the thing running, make profit. So he's charging. Personally, I'm not yeah. paying $8 to get one. Same. Yeah. It's bullshit. But I've seen at he... What was the guy? Jack, the guy who... Yeah, the former... CEO, I think yeah. he's starting some his own He platform. has started already. Mm-hmm. Something like called... Dosi. Yeah, he started yeah, his he own, started his own platform. platform. I like him because he's such a hippie. Yes, same here. Yeah. Just every time I see him, he looks things, cool, bro. Just, and he has a nose ring and long hair. Yeah, like and a beard. <laughs> then, yeah. Do you remember the nice picture of him and Jay Z in shots yeah, taking Mazi. a stroll? I thought when that they, was, yeah. yeah, when they were discussing that in partnership between Twitter and mm. so. Uh, ah, let Moas ride his dick nicely. Can we have a You said Okay. You know, like how I'm not supporting that look. I was looking at the both of you. The meta guy, you know how he always looks like he's an application. (laughs) Every time, even drinking water, even the name. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Uh huh. I so, saw someone tweet Elon Musk bought an overpriced shiny new toy and he doesn't know what to how to play. Exactly. With it. Yeah, I think so. so exactly. He's just doing it. And then he's claiming one thing today, then tomorrow, tomorrow. is the next thing. And then he's shutting down people's accounts. He's yeah, seen, I saw Kathy Griffin said, has yeah, been Kathy kicked Griffin, off Twitter. Yeah. But I thought he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's going to allow freedom of speech. Mm-mm. Yeah, so he, he was... Because everyone except him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was like, the card. Was but also, bro, that was but the also, like, genuinely, if I really, really hate you, because hate is a strong word. If I'm on Twitter... Yeah, Mr. Nafu 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 Nafu. I was like, bro, so you know, do. <laughs> it's freedom I'm of actually, expression for everyone except <laughs> like you. Me. But the Ninis have been funny, the memes. <laughs> yeah. That's when they were saying that the new, someone created a fake Twitter tears for $8 we get ABCD for $20 and then they're like, for $100, we'll we let you fire one employee per year. Yeah. <laughs> I just say, if you don't like how the new DMs look like, you're like, mm. yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Fired, go. Yeah. Interested uh, to see how Twitter is going to be. Let's give it time. Honestly, tech bros, yes. everyone who was fired is probably yeah. like has a new job by now. Yeah. You know, shortage your tech bros. <laughs> 12 for bad. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, me, uh, okay, oh, we'll I'll, let it sit. Yeah. Uh, but I'll just say shout out to the team for holding it down. Yeah. yeah. They had a Four good years, run. five years maybe. Four years, yeah. Mm. Like they that said, comebacks are not easy. Yeah. Um, but they had better days on Saturday and Sunday. You know what's yeah. crazy is on because uh, the show began on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Thursday night, Thursday night or Friday? Mm-hmm. No, Thursday night. I went. I went to the venue to see Gadoni mm-hmm. for the last rehearsal. I think they're doing like the last rehearsal. Mm-hmm. And yeah, she was. You know the. But I didn't think it was that bad. Mm-hmm. So uh, you told me about your experience because you were on the first show. Yeah. I was supposed to be on the first show on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Then now Twitter went wild with everything. Uh, then I saw Ng- Ngatia's thread yeah. and whatnot. I'm just like, man, if this is the end of 24 bad, shout out to you, man. Yeah. You all yeah, had a good run. Officially, they good officially run. confirmed that that was the last 24 bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've attended all of them. I think they did something phenomenal with theater in Kenya. True. Yeah. And they'll forever be in my good books. For, yeah. for sure, shout out. I've seen Gadoni's yeah. missed call. I want to I wanna call her after. Mm-hmm. Right. But 
Shout out. Like, You've I seen Gadoni's missed call. Shout out to Edward. Huh? Yeah. You've seen Gadoni's missed call. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm into guessing. Yeah, missed call like can I call you? You should That's go on your phone. That's not English. You say you've missed Gadoni's call. You can't say you've I've seen, seen her no. missed call. No, like I'm on a similar. Ni mona missed call yako. That's not English. It's sorry, I missed your call. What do you mean if you've seen a missed call? <laughs> so sorry, I've missed your call, and yes. I'm done telling you. When yes. I when I call Gadoni, I'll be like, sorry, I missed your call. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. But, but telling you, she's he's okay. Telling like I've okay. seen a missed call. Okay. Okay. I've seen a missed call. Moving on. See, even me. There's nothing like that. You've seen a missed call. Keep pushing. Yeah, I have a missed call. Okay. Like like I've seen I've seen a message from. Literally, my skin Online is peeling off my back, but okay. Yo, I've seen, line. I've seen the nose <laughs> text. No. Anyway, what, what we move. I've, I've missed, I've missed Gadoni's call. Not you've seen Gadoni's missed call. That's also correct. But correct. No. Doesn't mean one thing. <laughs> uh, me, I'm just giving you that. We should introduce. Say me, Konani. Can we? Can we? That was crazy, because, man. Uh, I personally don't know how to deal with grief. I think I've spoken about this. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I never. I never. You'll never even see me post it online. I don't know. Like I don't know how to deal with it. Mm. And the most I can say is just a moment of silence for Davido, who lost uh, his yeah. three-year-old son, yeah. who died in their home swimming pool. And then Takeoff just died, bro, from a stray Fuck. bullet. That story caught me off guard. Me, I thought it was the new album because I kept seeing photos online. And then I started seeing the heartbreak sign, and I'm like, "What the hell?" Mikwanza, I couldn't believe it because I think I woke up and I sent you guys the thing, yeah. yeah. David Osan. Early in the morning, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, passed away. And then that early day, there were like morning. four accidents in Kenya. Yeah. Then even the elephant, the biggest matriarch yeah. in Kenya, died yeah, the same then, day. So I'm trying to digest this Davido news. Yeah. I get on Twitter, I then I see boom, take off. Kwanza, I'm like, okay, and please tell, tell me this is a prank. Yeah. Yeah. So I take the screenshot I sent to you guys. I'm like, yeah. no, this has to be a joke. So I keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I see um the DJ is like, oh, take off. I said, I'm like, no, this has to be another prank. Mm. Then I start seeing tweets and tweets and I see a video and I'm like, oh, wow. Hey, man. <sighs> Condolences, mm. man. To the families, loved ones, and, you know, even those fans of Migos. Because yeah. okay, someone said now, because, you know, they had split as Migos. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. What is the name of Offset was no longer yeah. part of the group. It was yeah. just a takeoff and uh, and Quavo who are now Migos. So now no, that they're Quavo and takeoff, they're not Migos. But 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 they were still pushing everything under Migos. Even no. the new album. It's called Quavo and takeoff. Oh, okay. Anyway, I saw someone said now now it's just Amigo. <laughs> So Migos. So it's one guy. I talking. get the joke. It's just amigo now. It's too I'm soon sorry. and too dark. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just one to the hell now. I'm yeah. sorry. No, no, but I feel, I feel, I <laughs> honestly, my heart really goes out to Quavo. Like watching your blood die in front even of your offset, eyes. Even if they had disagreements. No, no, no. Because yeah. no, from what I understand, is apparently takeoff and offset had already made amends. Yeah. But for Quavo, I'm just like yeah. watching your blood die. Like. Bro, you see pictures of them since they were babies. You Literally. Know, that's sick, bro. And, and even, even, off, even, like, you know, you don't have a group favorite, but I know. Take off, Ananga Maneno. He was he's like the most he's chilled the best out Migo. Migo. Bro, do you, Migo like our, you should, you should, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, you should watch the interview on the Breakfast Club where they made uh, take off, mm -hmm. answer questions in ad -libs. In ad -libs. Cab. Mama. <laughs> oh, and I've, seen, I've also seen the one this, this, this guy who drives around and then people couple, James Harden couple karaoke yeah. it, mm. that, that was the best that couple the karaoke best ever oh shit with the Migos yeah. ah, I saw that yeah, it's I know. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. but man yeah. you know what that was nice that was nice <laughs> thanks for the music well. thanks for the everything. for everything man yeah anyways we are Match Check episode 38 Woo! over 26 <laughs> This is the Fag of This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Fag of Now, when you watch it, you'll understand.